Listen to the music, Chet. I have a little quieter than usual, but that's only because more wind audio balancing is fucking heinous. As you can see, my footsteps are almost zero. You don't want to hear what the game's footsteps sound in their default form. You will fucking freak out. Okay. <laughs> It just sounds like some guy stepping into like grapes, like over and over and over again. There's no difference in the sound. Snunk, 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 snunk. All right, Chet. Everything's looking good. I will be showing the mod list in Discord tonight or tomorrow. Okay. For right now, this one's. This one, we're just moving on ahead, okay? New game. So yeah, they, Hollywood said they hate Grease Mage. Like I said a thousand times, they fucking hate him so much. Each event is preceded by prophecy, but without the, uh, never mind. In the waning years of the Third Era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation tomorrow and ignorant of the role he was to play in history. It's so loud and everything else is so quiet. I, to I told you this would happen. What'd I tell you? You guys, you guys like, I, you're too quiet. It's too quiet. It, it, this game, this game, chat. Doesn't know how loud it wants to be. It's all in real time. I have to fucking do it. I have to do it all in real time. Don't worry, figure it out. All right, so I have a mod on that lets us make a custom beginning sort of thing. We're probably gonna start in Sedanin because Sedanin's the classic, and I like starting in Sedanin. Okay, but I am gonna select custom beginning just so I have full control of my guy as we do this. So, my name. It's gonna be placeholder. We're gonna we're gonna name them after we pick the face. So right now this is just place holder. We can rename them when we get our when we get our look together and everything else. Okay. All right. This is very important. This defines the entire game. Now remember, as much as you think you want this, as much as you think you want this back, he ain't coming back. He's gone. I don't even know why this is in here. Skeleton is not the plan either. As much as I, I'm sure you wish it was. Because we paid a lot of money for this actor, okay? And the actor is gonna be very upset if we don't use him. Hello. See, this is our new Grease Mage. This is more appealing to audiences. He's much nicer looking. He's much more handsome. He's got the hair, it's basically there. The hair is basically there, see? He's basically... <laughs> you hate him! You hate him! <laughs> Chat! Chat, we paid a lot of money for this guy. We paid a... We paid a lot of money for this version of Grease Mage. Uh, the, the, the Hollywood is gonna get very upset if we cut him from the from the production. Okay, recast, recast, refund. Chat, how can you hate this guy? He's got the look. He's very handsome. For some reason, I know for a fact. For some reason, one of the mods I have adds like two high resolution faces to the game. So you get you go from this. Back to this, <laughs> it's, it's extremely jarring. And he's the only one that'll look like this <laughs> in the whole game. It's the it's a, it's a difference between, you know, reality and the Hollywood experience. And it's that he is basically made out of solid plastic. You know? Hello. You know? Hello. He's not, he, chat. Looks like a radish. Not my mage. Chat. Well, if you wanted Dr Grease Mage, you should have fucking you should have fucking told Hollywood that, cause they all they heard was a bunch of grandmas saying they don't like some guy running around half naked with grease all over his body. Hire a new actor. You want a new actor, huh? You oh, you want a new actor? Lizards are in. People really like lizards. 
People really like whatever this is. Look, chat. Grease Mage ain't happening. He's dead. Okay. He's dead. I'm sorry. He's gone. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! What the shit's going on with this one? Someone fucking grabbed some staples and pulled his fucking face back. Yes? Absolutely not! No, chat, this is the worst thing I've ever fucking seen in my whole life. I can't do this one. You're telling me that's better than fucking handsome Wood Elf? He looks like he just got... He looks like half of his skin got pulled back behind his head and then stapled. Do the pretty elf. All right, we're gonna have to. Just, it's between these two. All right, chat. I'm gonna fucking put it up to a vote. We're gonna we're gonna fucking vote it. Okay. Which guy? Wood elf, Hollywood actor, high elf, with all his skin removed. Okay. If it's a 50-50, I pick Wood Elf, so you better not make it a 50-50. Or if it's a 50-50, I pick High Elf. If it's a 50-50, it's my choice, so... Keep that in mind. Wait, is it posting? Hang on. There we go. VOTE! VOTE! Add Lizard? Lizard was never an option. Ever. Okay, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show him again. Okay. The game crashed, so we won't be doing that, but you knew what they looked like. Yeah, I can't alt-tab from the game or it will crash. But you guys know what they look like, so do it quickly. Guys, this is an old game. You can't alt-tab. Once we're in it, we're in it. That's why I gotta use like the desk, like the in-game audio options. Once we're in it, we're in it, okay? There's no more changing. So, uh, you know, pick your, Pick your, pick your boy, now. God damn it, High Elf with all the skin removed is seriously thrashing this vote. Whatever then. You guys, this guy's gonna get banned just as quickly as fucking Grease Mage got banned from every establishment. Can you at least wear clothes? God damn it, why'd I alt tab again? Hang on, give me a sec. Okay. There we go. Alright, skin wizard, fine. We'll do skin wizard. He's just, he's not gonna be good. He's not gonna be good. He's gonna be, so, it's gonna be so bad. Whatever. Here comes loud audio again. Remind me to quick save as soon as I get into the game or we're gonna lose our character if something goes wrong. Like it's imperative that I quick save the instant I'm mobile in the game. Because it's a little bit of a process to make a character. Alright. Custom beginning. We're going to keep this as a placeholder for now. Still. High elf. God. Damn it. He's so bad looking. Are you sure? You. Are you sure? You don't want this guy? This is your last chance to change your mind. Look, he could be Goku. <laughs> he could be Goku. We could have Super Saiyan 1 Goku right here if you guys wanted. Okay? We voted. We voted. I fucking hate democracy. Oh my god. God. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Can I do a different haircut? No, they're all bad. Dude, it's like every other fucking character in this game has like 30 different visual options. Fucking high elves, the devs of the game made one high elf and they were like, this is the worst. What do we do now? And they just left it. 
They just left them like this. They're so bad compared to every other class visually. They've just been bad from the start. Dude, you know what? It is actually a good thing because the faces dictate what the character's body is going to look like. And there's a very high possibility with this wood elf face, considering this one was added by one of those weird mods, that he did have a dick the whole time. So that was the secret that I didn't tell you, is that if we picked this one, there was a very high chance he was going to have a penis. But now you don't get that. It's a shame, really. For you. Yeah, he was going to have a penis, most likely, the whole time. Yeah, no, it's over, chat. It's over. You guys don't get that now. You want you want this guy. You want like HD, like Grease Mage in HD. No. Revote, revote, revote. Re no, you don't get a revote now. You don't you, now you don't get one. Alright? We will be a high elf with a weakness to all elements. Not great. But we don't get many diseases. 50% common re disease resistance. Strong worlds, we resist paralysis. And we're very attuned to magic, which means we have more maximum magicka. We're good at a lot of magics. Now, let's create our class. We'll fill out the forms ourselves. We will obviously be specializing in magic because we have to. Grease Mage lives on in HD 4K. Beautiful, realized visuals. Favorite attributes. Intelligence is necessary. And... Oh, chat, there is one thing. When we get in, I'm going to use console commands to boost my athletics and speed by a bit. I don't like using a mod to do it, but uh, you go incredibly slow early game. Like, fucking so slow, it is, like, bad. So we, we, we're going to use a console command to speed our character up a tiny bit, just so it's not, like, painfully slow. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a hmm. affects your ability to dodge, hit, and hit targets in melee, as well as maximum fatigue, endurance, personality, intelligence, willpower, fatigue. Willpower is good because we are weak to like magic already, so this will boost our our our, our defense against magic. Major skills, destruction, obviously, blunt weapons. I want to have a big hammer. Uh, other major skills. Alchemy, so I have something to fucking cheese my levels through if I need to. Obviously. What the hell? I don't even know where these notifications, like the sound, where the notification sounds come from. I actually just realized, oh, I can't, no, I can't get to it. Ah, oh, well. Tomato, no personality gaming. Personality, look chat, there's one reason you do personality and that's so you can do speech craft and cheat the game by getting a ton of levels really quickly by mashing the uh, admire button, okay? Conjuration, obviously, gotta be able to summon buddies to the team. And um, lastly, in our main primary attributes, alteration. Alteration enables us to water walk, water breathe, jumping, levitating, burdening, opening and locking, and creating shields. We want it high because we want to be able to open doors with magic. We do not want to fuck with any lock picking. Ever. Okay. You clicked armor instead of conjuration. Did I? Huh. Alright, next. Restoration. Incredibly important. We need to be able to heal. We need to be able to heal. This is necessary. Anything in our major and minor skills contribute to our level. Anything that isn't in our major and minor skills does not. We are using a mod that changes the way that leveling works. So we don't like have to pick three main attributes whenever we level up. It is going to automatically, as we level things, put a point into the primary governing attribute of whatever we're leveling. So it goes a little bit smoother with that. Illusion, obviously, clearly. Uh, next, speechcraft. We want to be able to talk a little in case I want to. Okay. Then, okay, next thing. Next thing we're going to want for this, extremely important. I hate mysticism. I think it's stupid, but we might as well have every magic in the game. Enchanting can fuck off, though. Enchanting can go to hell. All right. It's not even that it's bad, it's just I don't feel like having it, is all. <laughs> I, 
I'd rather have something else. Like acrobatics. I know we'll eventually have levitate, but acrobatics is just something that you do passively all the time. You're always hopping. Nah, we'll take a freebie. We'll take something that will level no matter what. Do we play a naked guy? We should take an armor class. What kind of character do we want to be? Do we want to be unarmored, medium armor, heavy armor, or light armor? Need clothes. Chat, if we were playing the Hollywood actor, I'd agree that clothes are important. Okay. Heavy. You want Grease Mage to be wearing... You want this Grease Mage to be basically only visible through a small visor flap on his heavy armor? Yes. I sure? I mean, we can wear clothes this time. We were very limited last time by not being able to wear clothes. So I'm fine to do heavy armor. I'm totally fine to do that. No clothes last time very much limited our choices in armor. Uh, unarmored basically meant we could wear robes. We'll wear heavy armor. Fine. No helmet, though. All right. Our sign is going to be definitely not the Atronach. Uh, the mage is a freebie. It's extra magicka, nice and easy, but we already have a ton of magicka. I'd rather get something stupid, like the shadow, which gives us, nah, we'll already get invisibility pretty quickly just from magic. Hmm. The steed is pretty good because that fortifies our speed nice and early. The steed is nice. The steed's a nice freebie. You want speed? You're so slow in this game. By default. The lover. Paralyzed for 10 seconds and agility plus 20 permanently. The lady. Ah. I think the steed. Yeah, I think the steed. That's going to fortify us by 20 speed forever we'll still use console commands to boost our athletics to like 30 probably because it starts very low if you don't specialize in it and that is a noticeable speed drop so noticeable in fact it's almost unplayable if you don't know what you do you'll go so slow you'll be turning around every 10 seconds and doing 30 minute trips back to town and there's also the tower open 75 points on touch we won't get a strong open for a long time i might take the tower Especially since I'm going to console command my speed up a little bit anyways. That's a, that's a strong open. That isn't a magic spell, so it doesn't fail. And so is the reflect. I'm going to take the tower. Now, our name is important. We're not Grease Mage anymore. Okay. Skin mage. That sounds like illegal. That sounds that sounds illegal. I don't want that one. Slick spellcaster. <laughs> the slippery scoundrel. <laughs> you know that one's not that bad. It doesn't roll off the tongue the same way as grease mage, but I don't hate it. It's sort of like a. It's sort of like the straight to DVD version of grease mage. The slippery, slick, slippery. So I just yelled yellow dick. I'm not doing that one. Wet wizard is absolutely not on the table either. You can, you cannot do that. That one's not happening ever. Okay. Hang on, I saw one name that I liked. I, ch I can't scroll up the chat or my game's gonna crash. I can't see. Type slower. I saw one that I really liked. Slick Slamberly. We're not doing Slick Slamberly! Though that is a good name. I mean, I consider I consider Slim Slamberly or Slam Slimberly a very fucking like that that character is barely even canon in the grand stream. Thank you so much for all the gifted subs right there. Slick Slickerly, that's That's Slick Slipperly? Um, slick Scrumbly. 
Uh, I did, no, Chad. Mm. I don't know, dude. This is hard. It's not. We're going too deep. We're going way too deep. We're going way too deep. Okay. We're going. We're going so deep that like we're gonna start second guessing our fucking names in this. All right. This is important though. Everyone's gonna call us this forever. Okay, it's fucking incredibly important that the name is good. Very stupid is not the name! It's gotten so bad in here. And, and like, I can't even fucking read the chat going by anymore. There's so many names coming in that like, I can't... I, I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Moist Magician. I will go to prison if I do that! We can't do that one! I can't do that one. I will be thrown in jail. Fuck, dude. Slick Slippy. Ah, no, 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 that's it. I think Slip Slippy is simple. Okay, it's simple. It gets the job done. Everything else, you guys were starting to get, I had to pull a plug at something. Loop Dude was never going to be it. All right? And neither was Scrungly, okay? I think Slip Slipply, Slick Slipply is the best we've got, okay? He's a fucking B-movie replacement for Grease Mage. After many, many failed replacements, they got this guy off the street. They dressed him up. They dressed him up, they got him in the clothing. He doesn't even know how to act. Okay. Slick Slippery the Slippery. Oh, that's good. That's good, dude. That's real good, dude. Oh, that's good. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ooh. All right, we gotta get out of here. I think it's too much. No! Slink. No. Slip. What the fuck was slick? It was slick. Slick slippery? Oh, slick slippery. There we go. I like slick, slick slippery. I'm gonna fucking throw up trying to say this name. It's already killing me. I'm gonna like fucking vomit on stream because my tongue gets stuck in my throat. And I like choked to death trying to say his name. I've like stumbled over every time I've I've tried to say it. It's slick slippery. Let's just go. Class. It just no fucking way did it just delete the whole character. No, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. We're good. We, I just can't rename. I was gonna rename the character. I was gonna rename the class. But uh, we're good. We're good. We're fine. This is our boy. Our speed is going to be, our a athletics specifically, are going to be boosted a little bit. So that when we level up, it's not going to like go over what it should be, the speed. We're going to be starting with a lot of magics, a lot of things. Okay. Would you like to run the ability editor? You will lose 10 point bonus uh, to your two favorite abilities, but you'll be able to set abilities up to 60. Yes. All right. This is good, chat, because this lets us basically do what I was going to do. I totally forgot this is a thing. So I get to, like, choose for myself what I want my stuff to be buffed by. So I have 30... I have zero points left right now, but I can take shit out of wherever I want and put it anywhere, basically. So personality... Uh, what can I get rid of quickly? Agility is hit chance. Endurance is health. Luck. There's nothing lucky about what, uh... What's what slip is okay? What slick slip is okay? There's nothing, there's nothing there for him, so we're gonna take away all of his luck. There's nothing there for you, bud. But luck improves all skills. Who fucking cares? All right, what are you gonna luck build? Too smart to believe in luck. We don't need luck, we don't need luck. It's a flat, it's a flat fucking multiplier. I know what luck is. 
It's a flat multiplier. What's better is having the initial stats. Luck is just a bonus on everything. Okay? I prefer, I prefer d never relying on luck. He was luckier than Grease Mage? Didn't even spell his name right. What do you know about Grease Mage? All that we're gonna need is speed. Okay. We're gonna need some speed. 40 speed to be exact. Intelligence. I want intelligence to be very high. Sorry, we can't bring it any higher than 60, I forgot. Okay. Maybe we'll give him a little maybe we'll give him a little bit of luck back. We'll give him 20 luck. 20 luck sounds okay. And then the rest will be put into strength for when he bops people with his blunt hammer. Okay. This is looking good. This is a good looking guy. I like the look of this guy. Okay. I think this is a good looking guy. I think we move on. Would you like to run the skill editor? Yes. Please choose a skill to add a bonus to. You have 45 points left. Magic. And I would like to put it into specifically conjuration. 10. Thank you. Combat. Next. I want blunt weapons. Plus 15. Very important. Okay. Magic. Next. And we're going to put some into alteration. Actually, no, we don't need that because we have tower now. Uh, in that case, we want to put this, we don't want to put in alchemy because alchemy is going to level very quickly in the game. So we're going to put some into destruction, 10 into destruction. And lastly, stealth. Okay. We're going to drop a couple into speechcraft, baby. Into speechcraft, baby. Okay, we're gonna toss them into speechcraft just because I can and because I because I can. Combat, and the rest will go. The last five will go into heavy armor. Would you like to run the starting item editor? Yes. All right, now we get to choose like a basic item. So first, I can pick a weapon. I'm going to say I want a blunt weapon, please. I would also like heavy armor. And now for my miscellaneous item, I will take one potion of magicka, please. All right, it's time, chat. We get to pick our place in the world now. We can be on a prison ship from Cyrodiil, that's the classic start. Exploring around Dagon Fell, stepping onto the docks of Ebonheart, getting something to eat in Caldera, browsing the markets in Nisus, drowning in a shipwreck on the East Coast, hiding from the law, diving for pearls near Pel Pelagiad, hunting in the grazelands, working in the fields, collecting ingredients on the bitter coast, grave robbing a tomb near Balmora, studying in the Balmora Mages Guild, gathering firewood in the wilderness, in prison at Vivek, shipwrecked on a beach, fighting a battle in the Vivek Arena, setting up camp near Kul, working as a commoner in Margan, paying homage at the fields of Kumu, shaking down Fargoth, killing Fargoth, beating the shit out of Fargoth, killing Fargoth, murdering Fargoth. Enjoying Decel's House of Earthly Delights. We're not going there. If anywhere, that's not on the that's not even on the list. Fishing in Hla Oad, Kwama Egg Mining near Balmora, resting at Gateway Inn, playing for patrons in Pelagiad. I like the fucking quaintness chat of fishing in Hla Oad. Just just starting off as a as a as, this is what Hollywood would want. They would want a fucking they would want a gentle lead into the character, something quaint and nice. Okay. Fishing and Halawad is nice and nice. Killing Fargoth. You guys want me to like get beat the shit out of Fargoth? Yeah, you guys want me to be like beating the shit out of Fargoth and in, in, in Sadanine for my intro? Just like fucking killing him? Fargoth deserves it. I'd like to start in Sadanine. I do like Sadanine quite a bit. I think it's a good starting zone, especially with the Morrowind Rebirth mod. I think, I think Sadanine might be it. All Bosmer deserve it. <laughs> what did they do to you? We'll random. We'll find we'll random. We'll let the fates decide the fate of uh, 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 of slick S slip slip slick. Ah, fucking what do I know anymore? Random. I'm in the arena. <laughs> in for wreck. Hang on, I just have to pick my more when comes alive version 8.2 questionnaire to figure out uh, figure out how many random NPCs I want hanging around me. Enable companions. Disable. I know for a fact one of them has tits. No. Enable courtesans. 
disable. Hostile drunks in taverns. Yes. Enable respawning hostile NPCs in caves and ruins. Yes. Enable bandit attacks in towns. Yes. Enable hostile Ashlanders at outcast out Ashlander campsites. Yes. Enable brigands and highwaymen at crossroads. Yes. Lastly, select your preferred size of hostile NPC parties. Two to 10. All done. I right, chat time to get killed. He immediately called me the bad name. You will suffer. Ow! <laughs> Hang on, I still need to do something. There's still some things I have to do. Start script. Mad leveler. Without that enabled, we aren't using our proper leveling thing that we need for the game to like work properly. And now, player, set athletics to, let's say, what's mine at right now? Hang on, don't hit me for a second. I need to do like the last, yeah, my athletics is at five. That should be a little bit higher than that for the sake of uh, being able to play this game at a decent pace. I already quick save chat. I told you I'd be doing this. Don't say I'm cheating. I told you I'd be doing this. I'm setting it to like 30. And then we do this, and then we set speed to like fucking, what's my speed at? Sorry, it's important, it's important that I do this. Speed's at 40. And the athletics has been set, yeah, now, ow! Stop! We bring up speed to like 50. There we go. Now I'm moving at like a realistic pace for the game, which is the pace that humans move in a game. Ah. Ow! <laughs> Stop! All right, that's it! I wasn't exactly ready to be in a fight this early, but I'm gonna fucking take him down, chat. First of all, first of all, where's my healing? I don't have a healing. We're gonna have to make do with what we've got. <laughs> Reflect! <laughs> Next, I need, I need to get some, I need, I need something to get him off me. Someone skeleton, go! Get him! Get him! <laughs> get him! All right. All right, chat. Now we let him do the battle for us. How long does that skeleton last for? All right, it despawned. I failed. That was water walking. I casted water walking by accident. Help! Skeleton, get him! <laughs> it's a dark day in hell for Slick Slim Slip Slanderly. It's a dark day in hell. Could have done a lot of stuff differently to fight back against that enemy in the arena. Uh, let's try reloading and see if this time I can kill him before he kills me. Good stream. Permud! This is not a- look chat, Morwind is not a permadeath kind of game. We'll have to set my speed and everything after I'm done kicking his sorry ass in next week. Let's do this for real this time. First of all, bind my fucking magic. I need, I need my fucking damage spell right there. Oh wait. Hang on, I'll get to that in a second. I need my damage, I need my summon skeleton, and I need my shield. These are very important. Next. Let's get my fucking armor on. For some reason, the game started me without any armor on. God knows why. Because this is what I'm supposed to be at. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. All right. I don't have any gloves. Athletics and speed of reset, I'm aware. You don't need to tell me, because I literally told you guys. I'm the one who told you. I'm, I am the one who told you that. Athletics to 30. There we go. And now, we kill this guy for real this time. Summon Skeleton. Let's see if I've got it. The, the skeleton's not helping yet. All right. Okay. Now, elemental burst. And it's as simple as that, baby. Now I have to run the mad leveler. Start script. Mad leveler. All right, we're good. I won. 
Which means your your treasure is mine now. Yeah, baby! First big day. First big day, chat. Let's get out of Avec immediately. I don't know whose team I'm on. Hi. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. This guy's face is, uh, is a nice looking one, so he definitely has a cock underneath his armor. I'm just letting you guys know, he probably does. What are you doing in here? Are you trying to join the arena? Uh, no. I want to be on the other side. I don't want to join your arena. I want to be on this arena. I want to be on this side. I want to be on red team. If I'm going to pick a team, I want to be on red team. Hey! Why do you bother me? Are you here to join the arena? Yes. So what shall it be? Uh... I'm sorry, I'll be on my way. You talk too much, Outlander. I hate the face! Why do you guys make me pick this face? He looks like he's gonna... Oh, he looks like... He looks like a super villain. I hate the face. The face is terrible. Why'd you guys let me pick that face? Look, chat, we are in the arena. All right, there is some logic to hanging out here for a little bit. But um, there's a lot of map, as you can see in this game. This is the base game right here. Uh, all this was added in post by mods and it's all got quests and content in it. There's a lot to do, okay? I feel like I could definitely participate in the arena though. I feel like I could do a fight. You know, get, get my fucking, get my bearings, you know? Get my bearings, participate in a battle There's in the no arena. I talk now. I am of course, world famous warrior Slick Slippy. I had to check my name again. This guy also definitely has a cock. You can tell by the fucking, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell by the face design if a character has a gigantic schlong coiled in their pants. And it's this one. All right, we're going to play join the arena. We're going to do a fight. We're going to do a fight in the arena. We're already here. This is on my list of things I wanted to do last character. I did never get the chance. We're going to do an arena fight to warm up. I want to fight in the arena. So you want to fight in the arena? You must be joking. You won't stand five seconds against the weakest the blue team has to offer. You're too weak, bro. You got to power up. You're not strong enough yet. You're too weak to fight in the arena. Come back when you have proven yourself worthy. My strongest arena fighters would kill a monster, let alone a man. Okay, we'll have to... We'll have to come back. I guess we'll just hang out and beat on these free skill boosters with this... We didn't even get a blunt... Oh, we do have a blunt... We do have a blunt weapon. Uh, wait a minute. My character's technically from a mod. One second, chat. Oh no. All right, his pants stay on. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, hey chat, these are physical entities. You can actually hit them. So we get, we can like practice a little bit on our blunt weapon here and get some free hits in to like power up before we head out there. All right, and we're gonna need free hits like this. You don't get many freebies like this. These practice dummies are free hits. Why do you do this to yourself, tomato chat? You wanna know why I did this to myself? Because I was expecting all of you to say, play the wood elf that I checked manually didn't have one. Okay. <laughs> there was one that I checked and there was a wild card play, okay? I was expecting wood elf. Let's go. You said he probably did? I lied. Because I wanted to bait you into picking the one that didn't. So this one happened! <laughs> we're getting out of Vivek. Vivek is a cursed map. I don't want to be here. Alright, we're going to walk all the way to Sedanin. Where we belong. Take a look at that view distance, though. This is, we're using MGE XE, which extends the view distance and range at which you can see in the game, along with a bunch of other visual changes. Do I have water walking? I do. Is it safe to water walk from a big drop, though? No. Because I'd rather not go all the way down there if I can skip it, you know? Hang on. Ah. Ah. Welcome to entry grade uh, acrobatics, chat. I can't actually clear this small little ledge. My character won't be able to. Ah. Ah. E. Do I have any options? Do I have any magical powers that let me clear a fucking hit, like, little, little ledge? 
No, I don't actually know any of those. We'll have to take the stairs. Well, let's start. Let's start getting some practice in chat. It's very important early that we start casting magic to become more powerful. There are a couple of honor rules that I'm going to do in this game. One of them is that if I'm in a dungeon, I'm going to try to limit the amount of times. Oh, here we go. I can do it here. I think I can. Ah! Ah! I can't clear it. Where's the stairs? Where's this? Where's the stairs? The waste works. I'll try to take the stairs down here. I think I'm supposed to like take the fucking, there's like a middle spot I have to take. Man, you do not want to find yourself in Vivek if you don't know Vivek well. This place is a fucking hell maze. It's like made to, it's made to get you lost forever. We may never get out of here. We might die in this place. We may die in Vivek. Th this might be Slip Slip's real fucking, this might be his legacy is that he got lost in the tunnels of Vivek. And die. The, every stairwell goes up. There is no down. You're, you're stuck on the roof. In Vivek. I just gotta find the way down. Chat, don't worry. Don't worry, I got a plan. Oh! Ah! I'm gonna die! I'm alive! Wait, why am I alive? How the hell did I not die from that fog? I don't have feather on. Wait a minute. Hold up. Let me just... Just to confirm. I don't have TGM on. See? Am I just... Hey! Die, Hit me! Victor. Kill me! Ow! Okay, I'm not a god. Okay, I'm not a god. I'm not a, I'm not a god. It was just a one. I don't know why that one fall is so safe for me, but I'm not a god. Because <laughs> they definitely stabbed me in the neck. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, chat, we're going to say to Uh, because I like that starting area. I think it's great. So we're heading on over to that way on the map. Okay, we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna meet some people, but the last place I want you guys to be exposed to the wonders of this game, this game is an inc this game is genuinely incredible, okay, this is one of my favorite games of all time, but I, as someone who's played a ton of Morrowind, know better than to allow your, force, your first exposure to this game, if you're new here, to be Vivek, <laughs> alright, I'm not a fucking idiot, you don't want to be in Vivek, okay, we want to get out of Vivek. We want to leave Vivek as quickly as possible. We may never return. Vivek is a place that you hate being in. You don't want to be in here. You want to scamper on out of Vivek as quickly as possible. You don't want to be here. It's cursed. This place is cursed. You can... Vivek's like... Vivek is like the fucking... You know the city in Witcher 3? Where you think you're going there for one quest in Witcher 3? And then you spend about 40 to 50 hours in that city and you never play the real game ever again. And you're like, man, I remember playing The Witcher. I remember The Witcher 3 when it was fun. You know, Novigrad. This is like Novigrad on crack cocaine. You can enter Vivek and you'll be in Vivek for 80 hours by accident because it's just like this maze of like shitty fucking like buildings that are all the same and like 4,000 NPCs that all want you to go across the map eight times. So everyone say bye bye to Vivek. Forever. Let's get let's get down to Sadie. Manually. Walking. Very slowly. Okay, it's very important. Treasury is cool. You know, with the hundred with the 75 power open I have on touch, we probably could have raided the treasury if I was smart. I should probably sell the things in my inventory real quick. Actually, if I'm wise, I should probably go to a merchant in this fucking small, uh, pre-Vivec town. Maybe get a fucking mortar and pestle. Maybe take the taxi. That might be smarter. If we take a taxi, we could take a taxi. Hey. Hi, Slick Slippily. I'm Brello Verano. Don't worry, Vivec can be confusing for us, and we live here. That's a bad sign, Todd. Todd. Hey, Todd, 
If you describe your fucking city in NPCs as, Hi, we don't know fucking what's going on. That's probably a bad fucking sign for the design of your map, Todd. You should have fixed Vivek. Everyone else, everywhere else in this game is awesome design. Vivek is cursed. Like, actually, like a cursed city. Alright, uh, hey, I want to barter. But first, I want to admire you. You're looking very handsome. What pretty words, adventurer, and how artlessly self-serving. No, but really, I think you look extremely handsome. Why would I want to do that? No, 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 no. How charming. Leave now. All right, we're not going to barter with him. There's got to be another merchant around here. What is this? Are you looking for a place to call home? This house is now for sale and can be yours for a fair price. Come visit the Imperial Estate Agency in Ebenhart for more information. I don't have the key to open this door. I was going to go inside and, like, look. Dude, there's housing. Is this a merchant? Demi's Den. I need like a pawnbroker. You guys got a pawnbroker in this? That's a pawnbroker. You can tell by the two, the two, the two little gwars on it. Bernadette's Imports. Hey. Welcome to Vivek Slip Slipply. Slick Slip Slippy. There it is. All right. There it is. Hi, I'd like to sell this weapons and armor and clothes for $31. I'm really... No, no, no. We're not doing $31. I'm going to sell it for $40 and you're going to give me that. Yep. That boosted my mercantile. You got to fight back. You got to fight back. You can't let them pick on you, dude. You'll be picked on till the day you die. Now we got enough money to buy a taxi. We got enough money to buy a taxi and we're going right to Sedanine. We're out of here. It's important that we do Sedanine. Okay, because Sedanine has entry-level guys that we can pick on. Okay, everyone here is gonna kick our ass. Like, look at this guy. Say your words. He wants to say, he wants me to say my words so that he can put them back in my mouth with his bare hands. Hey. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Oh, and you know what I like about this guy's face? I know he doesn't have any genitals, and that means I feel comfortable talking to him. So let's get some traveling done. We're gonna head on out to Sedanine for most of my money. Hang on, before we do that, I'm gonna quick save in case this mod is broken, because I actually installed this one very late in the game and I never tested it. Okay, it's fine. Wait, there is a travel mod on. I don't think I actually enabled it. But uh, if I go back to the other one, I can. Uh, we can actually ride the Silt Strider manually. It'll, it'll, we had it on the last mod pack. I just need to enable it still by talking to them properly. The option's there. I'll turn it on next time. Next time I go up to him. Welcome chat to Sedanine. It is, the weather sucks. Hang on, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna be, I wanna see. We're gonna stand out here for like another like five minutes and hope that the weather gets better. Are my eyes that evil? Chat, am I an evil character? <laughs> What's up with his eyes? Loitering is illegal. Not that illegal, trust me. It's still raining. All right, let's give this another, like, fucking 19 hours. There we go. Sedanine's now a lovely... Sup, babe? 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 All right, let's get some money. All right, Sedanine, there's a lot of stuff to make money in Sedanine, okay? There's a lot of quests and things to do. Okay, and it's all easy to do. Look at this schmuck. This is Fargoth. One of the biggest losers in the game. I really don't have time for this, so make it quick. I forgot. Oh, yeah. It's disabled. Fargoth is gone forever. He's been removed by me. He's a bad character. He doesn't need to exist anymore. He doesn't need to exist in my world. All right, chat. So we're using the Morrowind Rebirth mod. Uh, normal Sedanine uh, stops city-wise at this house. There is no more here. This is all new. These are all like added by the like a mod. Rebirth is a huge gargantuan mod. Okay. We're gonna shop around. We're gonna get into some conversations. We're gonna talk to some people. We're gonna see what's going on in the city. Guard station. I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. The most disciplined and effective military force in the history is the Imperial Legion. They preserve peace. I'd like to join. I want to join the Imperial Legion. I know you can. I'll have to find it later. Alright. 
Let's uh let's swing by some of the let's swing by some of the hot spots. I want to get into like the fucking there's some things we're gonna need. All right, there there, there are certain. We're, eventually, we need to swing by Balmora. Why is he bad though? I never played this game. You don't want to know why Fargoth is bad. All right, just come with me. Okay, we're gonna swing inside the tavern. This is where this shit goes down. Okay, a real good to see you. That was a that was very loud. That I offer the best values in town. <sighs> that's just a that's a that's a that's a that's a Morrowind greeting chat when they sniff at you. Say your needs. Hey, Gunlog, Grow Balnoth. Hey you! <laughs> Do you wanna make some drinks? <laughs> I found a treasure. <laughs> sure, I'd love to have I'd love to make some money. You seem like a sober type. I was was <laughs> Walking around in Abyssin Pulu, 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 <laughs> Abyssin Pulu, and I found a scroll mentioning a treasure, but I lost, <laughs> I lost it somewhere inside. I only remember finding the, the, the scroll, and it tells about a, a stash of pears, <laughs> pearls. Then I blacked out and woke up on the road outside of town. <laughs> Go find this scroll and we can be rich. <laughs> if you do it, I, I will black out and lose it some more. If I do it, I will black out and lose it some more. Okay. Hey, man. I'm done. So, chat, here's how Morwen questing works if you're not aware. There is no waypoints. There are no quest markers. You get directions in the journey. You get, hey, this is southwest of this place. And you have to fucking wing it. It's like classic WoW style. You just, the good old days. You have to guess where something is. Hey. Raflod the braggart. I'm Raflod the braggart. He looks like he's dying. What's wrong with you? Welcome to scenic Seda Neen. Are you looking for someone in particular? If we go through all these options, sometimes they'll give us like information that I want. Don't stand about. Hey. Uh, come on, then. Say something or move on. You look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend if you'd like to help me recover some gold. Ah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. See, I've had a bad run of luck at playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. But we can usually keep... We usually keep some gold in our pockets just for the money. Just from the money the locals pay us for protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me. Especially that little fetcher Fargoth. Fargoth? He's come up light in the past couple of weeks and I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. And I'd like to see if you can find Fargoth's hiding place. Who? Who's Fargoth? Sorry, sir. There is no Fargoth. You're remembering... Hang on, there's a solution to this. And thus, Fargoth no longer exists, even in memory. All right, let's go find that fucking scroll. Come on, chat, we gotta ask around town. I met a man named Gunlog Grow Balnoth in Arel's trade house, and he wants me to recover a scroll that mentioned a treasure he lost in a place called Abyssin Pulu. He does not know where it is since he blacked out a lot when he was looking for it. He only recalls having the scroll in Abyssin Pulu, then waking up on the side of the road near Sedanin. I should ask around Sedanin. Okay. Hey, do you know what Abyssin Pulu is? I don't know where that is. Okay, bitch. Uh, whatever then. You know who probably would have known? Fargoth. Hey, 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 hey! Voldenus! What do you want? Do you know what Abyssin Pulu is? Do you mean Abyssin Pulu Eggmine? Abyssin Pulu Eggmine is southeast of here. Just go down the road southwest of here. Okay, those don't add up. And once you hit a fork in the road, keep going southwest. Chat, this is the other thing about Morwind quests. Sometimes the directions are just lies. He wants me to quite literally go southeast of here to find that scroll. Now, I know where this Eggmine is because I played this game. So I actually know where it is and I can go there. But... He wants me to go somewhere that doesn't exist. There is no road southwest from here. Southwest is the ocean. 
There is, uh, this is a mod quest. No, this is a mod quest. But I've had actual Morrowind quests that I've had wrong directions because sometimes NPCs in the game are just wrong. But that's Southwest. Southwest is the ocean. He told you to go drown. Hey, babe. You're looking awfully uh, high brightness and contrast. Haven't seen your high elf face before. Would you like a little advice? Or are you looking for someone in particular? What's, give me advice. You look like you can take care of yourself. Then why don't you try doing something about those smugglers in Adamant's cave? It's right over there near the Silt Strider port. It's literally visible from here, the smugglers and the pirates. They're stealing things now, visibly, over there, in the distance. You can see them walking in and out of the room. Yet these guards, look at them, just strutting around. Someone must have paid them to ignore the smuggling going on here. Okay, I could probably kill everyone in that. It's right there, chat. They're quite literally ignoring a cave full of smugglers that is right there. We gotta start picking up mushrooms. Fortunately, we have the graphic herbalism mod on, so we pick up mushrooms and herbs instantly, which is super fucking nice. If you're playing Morrowind, I recommend you have this mod on at all times. It makes the game a thousand times more pleasant to play. Because you don't have to go into the inventory of every single fucking item in the game. Your render distance may be higher, but theirs is the same. Let's go into Asmosartitartus and kill everyone inside to, um, you know, warm up, get some gear. We need some money anyways. hey -o. Hi, it's me. Slick Slippley. It's good to meet you. You may have heard of my last now brand name. Die. Grease me. Did you seriously just summon a ghost of your past to battle me? Okay. I raise you one real skeleton. Get them, my child. Excellent strike, my child, and once more. And, and, and one more, my child. And finish them off, my child. Kill them. Excellent kill. Now get this one to... All right, cool. Oh, and my boy's gone. It's like Pokemon, chat. Okay, now I gotta be careful. Frankly, even though I'm pretty sure this person definitely has underwear on. If I don't need clothes, there's no point taking them. Okay, that's like honor rule stuff. I prefer Digimon. You prefer a shit product. Sorry, bud. Alright, unfortunately, even though I took restoration, you only get spells for stuff that you took, like, major skills for. Wait a minute, where is restoration? I should have gotten a restoration spell. Eh, whatever. Alright, chat. Let's just kill everyone in this building. Okay, nice and easy. Shield activate. Big shield. This will keep us safe in case stuff goes wrong. Now, elemental burst. We have hotkeys for this, so, you know. Yeah. Hey! Oh god, it's a bunch of fucking Argonian slaves. And Khajiit slaves. Morwind was a dark game, Chet. They didn't, they didn't fuck around in Morwind. 90% of the NPCs in this game make you extremely uncomfortable because one of the only lines they know how to say is, Where is that slave? Uh, they'll say that every 10 seconds. You just gotta fucking avoid them. Uh, they will- they will say that almost every 10 seconds. It's very- it's like casual fucking, like, terminology. Everyone has an- uh, like an ancient ancestor! That's like their secret race move in this game. Is that Dark Elves can summon, like, their ancestor of the Abyss to help them fight. Whatever, summon another skeleton and now I'm gonna- I'll take care of this one. Yeah, I'd like to see you fucking- I'd like to see you try to. Ow, hang on. Oh god, my skeleton's dead. <laughs> They're all dead, all my boys are dead. I can't clear this hill! <laughs> Ow! Return strike! Ah. We are not a very strong character right now, chat. You have to keep that in mind as we play this. We are not. We don't pop off till hour two. We need like two, we need like a little bit of money before we can start winning fights. The melee is so crusty. Yeah, you play a magic character for a reason in this game, chat. Let me try this again. I don't have a healing spell yet, which is the problem. Once we get a healing spell, we pop off. Fucking die. I have you. Nope, she's dead. Okay, and that means her, her friend disappears as well. Pilfer all the money off of her body. And this time, we win this fight. Okay? Shield, activate. 
Skeleton, summon. Now we Pokemon battle. Now let the, let the battle begin. I think my skeleton loses because he's... Oh, that other guy's out of mana. That guy's out of mana. He doesn't know how to get down here, though. Okay, he's stuck and so is the ghost. This gives me a chance to seriously... Alright, this gives me a chance to recover. The ghost is gone. Alright. Now, how do I take care of you? Carefully. I know. I know what to do. I'm going to summon another skeleton. Go, my child! NPCs in this game hate corners. You just gotta understand, this is an old game from the year fucking 1960. And NPCs really struggle with stairs in corners. So we may be here for a He only lasts 15 seconds. Okay. Go again, my child. Alright, fine, I'll do it myself. I'll do it myself. Ow. Yeah, get him. Oh, the skeleton despawned. Get them. Kill them. Kill them. Get them. Can I switch to my destruction? The skeletons are just watching as I get rid of the shreds, dude. I'm closing the door. I, the door didn't close. All right, chat. This is the ultimate Morrowind play. We just leave. Yeah. NPCs don't know how to follow you outside of buildings. Therefore making me unstoppable. Because now, and I won't do this very often, I can sit down in my fucking, I can sit down on the door frame, blocking it, sealing them in, and rest until I am healed. Get interrupted by a little Kwama larva, kill it, and then turn around with a vengeance and kill everyone inside that room. Now that I am the stronger warrior. Yes, what can you do now? You oh, you can't? All right, she, uh, okay. She just called me the mean word. You guys don't, ha don't learn from her, okay? That's a very bad word in this game's lore. Ooh, probes. Ooh, lockpicks. I can sell those for money. Yeah, that's like the equivalent of a gamer word around here, chat. So please, fucking... Do not, do not, I will blacklist the word. I will. All right, come on, let's just clear this place out. We should probably release the, the Khajiits and Argonians locked in that cage upstairs. But the alternative option is that I don't waste my power word uh, spell on a bunch of fucking random NPCs and instead use it to break into the, like, MP Ooh, Nippon Steel. Very nice, chat. Very nice. And Moon Sugar. Which every NPC in the whole game will know I have and refuse to trade with me now because of it. They'll know it automatically. And will actually... Oh. Nice. And will actually keep... Uh, me barred from their store until I get rid of it, probably by eating it directly in front of them. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. I hate this cave, dude. I just want to get to the end of... I just want to get to, like, the end of it so I can get, like, the fancy treasure and then get the hell out. Matter of fact, I think that's basically the end of it. We killed all three of the smugglers. The rest is, like, random bullshit. Alright, chat, let's go find that fucking scroll. That's, that's our first, like, quest. That guy... Grub... Gum... Gumbo whatever his name is, is counting on us to get that fucking thing. Save the slaves? All right, we'll save the slaves. We'll let them, we'll let them go, chat. We'll, we'll let these guys go, okay? Hey. You're free. Do you have the key to these braces? Will you let me go free? Go free. Be free. Bedargo. Good friend. This is an honor. He called me a good friend. Be gone. Be free, my friends. Be free. See, Argonians are rad this because they, is an honor for they lack they lack uh, any nudity. They literally can't have it, so it's fine. There's nothing there. That makes them totally safe. I can pilfer all the clothes I want from them without any concern. 
All right, chat. We're going down the road till we find the as as uh Asbis and Pulu egg mine. All right, where we're gonna look for a scroll which should allow us to find treasure. Okay. And on the way, we're gonna grab all the uh, ingredients we can for alchemy. We need this so we can become more powerful. And also on the way, it's time to start the thing that you guys are gonna fucking hate. This is like a all, you guys are gonna all caps fucking despise this fucking thing, okay? But um, I hate to break it to you, but I am going to begin casting shield on myself over and over again while I walk. Cause you have to level your fucking abilities somehow in this game. And unfortunately in Morrowind, it all takes repetition. So I'm going to be casting this about 30 to 40 times everywhere I go until I've run out of mana. While we keep an eye out for that cave. Cave? It should be down here, Abyssin Pulu. There it is, Abyssin Pulu egg mine. It's right there, just like the fucking, just like the guy said, chat. There it is, Abyssin Pulu. Shut up, shut the hell up. There could be treasure inside that place. Southwest, just like the just like the letter said. It's being guarded by some sort of fucking monster. Where are we gonna fucking that scroll could be anywhere on the inside. That or it's right there, right in front of the building. And I don't even have to do it. That or I can just walk up and take it. Hey. Unoli Dreth. I know my burial is a place for me to rest in peace with no one disturbing me, but when I pass on, I want you to take my collection of pearls. They will most likely be in the tomb, and you may come in the tomb. And I will not harm you, nor will the other spirits. Samaris, that sounds like a bullshit promise. That was it. That was literally it. I found the scroll. Okay. Seems honest. Doesn't seem like a trap. That was easy. Yo, know, it's as simple as that, chat. We got what we came for. Let's bring that back to St. Anine and get some fucking dosh. We should get paid a mint for that. But on the way, we're going to kill this, uh, this mud creature. Because we need, we need to get our fucking destruction up somehow, you know? We got to, we got to practice on anything we can see to get that sick destruction skill up. The pearls could be yours. Chad, it doesn't matter if we don't know where the place is. We don't know who that person is, so we don't know where they're buried. We just know their name. We need to know where they were buried. We need to know where their ancestral tomb is, or how are we supposed to get the pearls? I'm not saying we're gonna share the pearls with Grognog, okay? But I'm definitely going to have to fucking ask around, okay? Disturbing the local ecosystem. Dude. Mud crabs can go to fucking hell. They're like the spiders of- I mean, sorry, they're like the fucking fruit flies of the- of the world, okay? They're nothing. Basically worthless. How many mushrooms do I got? It's time to buy a mortar and pestle. We need to start- we need to begin our work. We need to start making heavy drugs, okay? It's very important in Morrowind that you get into drugs and the drug trade fucking very quickly, okay? Everyone's gonna want them. Everyone wants them. Everyone needs them. You name them as something that doesn't say moon sugar or skooma and people will buy the drugs, okay? So let's go buy let's some, let's go get some stuff to make some drugs. Oh, so let's quick save. Any Fellas, time. this is true evil RP. Take that back, Slick Slippily is not evil. Publicly. Okay. He's definitely a lot more sinister than Grease Mage was. Now, everyone shut up. I'm about to break into the census and excise warehouse, the import and export room for the, uh, for the, you can't rest your enemies are nearby. Where? Hello? Who's out there? Who's after me? Hello? Hello? Fargoth. Fargoth, oh God. Hello? I'm going in here. Tower key, open the door for me, good sir. I cast magic open. And I go inside the I didn't think you'd be in here. I didn't think there'd be guards in the warehouse when I came in. 
Oops. You think they'll just let me? Hey. They don't seem to know that I don't belong here. Everyone just Any shut time up. Now. They're not mad at me. They don't know I'm here to steal all their stuff yet. Everyone just shut up. Everyone shut up and be cool. There's something we gotta pick up from up here. And that's everything inside all of these fucking boxes. Every everything of value that's over one gold goes inside the goes inside my inventory. Arrows. As a pack, those will sell for more. Kwama eggs. Take. Nothing. A bunch of ingredients. A bunch of ingredients. A bunch of ingredients. Even more ingredients. Even more ingredients. A bunch of pillows. I don't actually want those. More Kwama eggs and Saltris. We need all this. I know, let's go downstairs. We might be able to get away with sealing some stuff down here as well. Before, like, the guards catch wind of my warehouse shipping log. This appears to be records of incoming and outgoing shipments complete with dates and business partners. I don't think I want to steal that, even though it seems like the game... It seems like that might be, like, a quest thing. I don't think I... Whoa, 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 whoa. Mine. Yeah, we can sell all that. All of this. All of it. Take all of it. We're gonna sell it all to that guy. He won't even know the difference. The merchant will not be able to comprehend that this stuff is stolen. It's free money. And we need money. All right, chat? We need a lot of money. So we're taking everything. I'm over-encumbered. How over-encumbered? Not much. Uh, ditch this, like, shitty dagger. Still too heavy. Ditch these fucking dumpy... Ditch the war axe. There we go. Let's bug out. Come on. No one was any the wiser. A perfect heist of basically garbage, chat. But an excellent heist all the same. Slick... Slick gets away with it again. I have to keep checking his name because it feels so alien to me still. Traveler. Come. Make it quick, Outlander. Let's sell what we've got. And then we can start buying spells and becoming powerful. You will have to get rid of that moon sugar if you want my services. I don't want any trouble. I offer the best values in town. Alright, you don't want my moon... You don't want me to... You don't want moon sugar in here, good sir? Fine. Fine, I can do that for you. I can get rid of it. Yes? Yes? Welcome! Welcome to my store! Welcome! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd like to barter, good sir. I have many things to sell. I have many things I would like to trade and dispose of. And hopefully, you'll allow me to buy a mortar and pestile. Thank you. Yes. It's gonna cost me $18, but it's gonna be worth it because we're gonna be able to flip all these fucking ingredients I got into excellent potions, chat. Awful. Very good, very good, very good. Now we activate the mortar and pestle. It's time to get cooking. Ingredients. We just sort of freestyle this until we get stuff that works. Technically, there's a logic to it, but it's fast just to freestyle and then, like, cross-check which ones are which. So we can get rid of that. That's not needed. And then we're gonna fucking sell all these potions as soon as they're all done. Restore luck. And fatigue. We get a double here. Excellent, excellent. Marshmallow. R Luminous Razula. We just basically throw anything in, and when it gives you an effect, you just cook it. Like, it's a, it wastes some ingredients, but you get so many in this game. It's not worth fucking... Unless you're, like, spending, like, high-quality void dust and shit, it doesn't fucking matter. Just cook everything that you have in your inventory whenever you've got it. And then sell that shit to the merchant directly in front of you and make a fucking... Make, like, ten dollars. Levitate. That actually would have been pretty rad to get. Because we're never going to... We don't use any of these potions, all right? These are just to make money. All right, well, you never drink your own supply. I wouldn't put any of this in my mouth, okay? Not a single fucking droplet of these fucking things would go in my mouth in a million years, okay? Ever. So let's sell them to another guy so he can sell them to someone to put into their mouths immediately. Look at how much money. We're going to immediately make our money back on this. The only thing we don't sell is Fortify Magicas. Everything else is instantly sold. Yeah, baby. 
76 fucking dollars. Barazongus. Take a look. And now we upcharge him. This is worth $86, bitch. Okay, he refused. $84. Easy. 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 Okay, now we got some money. And that means we can start investing in magic. Check. You can start buying some magic, and I think it's most responsible to get the classic for almost all of our money, the fireball, right? Wait a minute, five to 20 for in four feet on target, or flame, which is five to 15 for one seconds in three feet on target. And then this uses less mana, I think, and is cheaper, flame. Wait, do you have a healing, sir? Sir, do you have healing? Oh, that's another. I have to make six more dollars to buy the healing spell. Would you perhaps be willing to purchase my lockpicks for 25 gold? 24 gold. Dude, I love that mercantile just levels up when you're a shithead asshole who won't sell anything for what it's worth and you just you're just like a fucking dick. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna buy the healing spell. That's probably incredibly necessary for my survival. Restore health. There, now we've got a healing spell and we can start really getting a little bit ridiculous. Let me just bind it. Magic and restore health. What's my chances to successfully cast this? 50%-ish, that's not, that's not good. All right, chat, it's time. My time is precious. Wait, so I was supposed to tell that guy that I found the scroll. Hang on, it's time in a second. Not yet. It's almost Make time. It quick, hey, speak quickly. I got what you came. Yes, slick slippery. <laughs> I got it. The treasure. You, you, you found it. Well, take these drakes for finding it. <laughs> Now, can you now search for the treasure for me, please? I get blackouts a lot. <laughs> in fact, I just got one and don't remember your age. I never told you my age. <laughs> I will pay you 50 more drakes for finding the pearls. <laughs> okay. Hey. Do you know who Sinmaris or Anoli Dreth are? I don't know who that is. Okay, that's bad news, because that's who we got to find. Hey. Make it quick, Outlander. Do you know who either of these people are? No. It's gonna be a long day. We basically just gotta ask people randomly until- I just almost broke my legs doing Make that. Make it quick, Outlander. I'm just curious if you know who Samaris or Unoli Dreth are. You don't. Okay. Anyone here know an Anoli? Anyone here know Ravioli? Anyone Ravioli? Anyone know her? She's dead. You know Unoli? No? What about Samaris? No. Anyone know Cannoli? They're dead. You may know, you may recognize them from being dead. Anyone? The farther out we get, the closer we get to a guy that has to die in this game no matter what. There's nothing we can do about that. Dead guy, dead guy, dead guy, dead guy, dead guy, hang on, dead guy. It's dead guy, hang on, dead guy. Just get rid of this fucking ah. crowd. Dead guy on the ground, dead guy. Dead guy. Hang on, everyone shut up, there's a dead guy. He killed by mud crab, dead guy. Hang on, shh, 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 We got a dead guy. Hang on. What is your secret, dead guy? Processus Vitellius. $200 and a tax record. He was a tax man. Fargoth never paid. Foreign Gilneth never paid. Fine Mouth never paid. Hey, man. Return! Re oh, he died again. Well, now I have to disable him instead because we cheated and take his stuff again. Imagine being designed in the game to not be revivable. And now I have to disable you because you're like, you've got illegal contraband on you now. Imagine being designed, uh, you, I think this is a quest. No fucking shit, it's a fucking quest. 
We got a letter. I found a corpse while traveling near Sedanin. It seems to be the corpse of one Processus Vitellius, based on some items found on his body. He was carrying a parchment with what looked like a tax record. He also had 200 gold on his body. Probably taxes he collected. So here's the thing about that. If I told someone about the body, I would have to return the money. So I'm not doing that. Another dead guy, another dead guy, another dead guy. That's another dead guy over there. You gotta watch out, there's another dead guy. Hang on, water walking, activate water walking. My feet will no longer get wet. So long as I have the power. Chat? How long you been dead? Long time. Nine gold? Me take. Anyone know a fucking Unoli Canoli? Anyone? Anoli? Canoli? Anoli? Anoli? Where's Fargoth? Where's that guy who like falls here? There's a guy who's supposed to like fall to his death. Yeah, yeah, yeah there he is. Right on top. I want his hat very badly. I only come here so I can pick up his hat every time. A nice scrolls of a carry in flight and iron spark sword. Cock check. We good. Take his book. I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I would be able to travel great distances without any need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I have worked out all the possible complications. It will allow me to leap great distances, covering many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner, vaulting from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without that terrible disorientation of a spell of flying. The time is almost upon me. My research is finished. And all of my calculations are checked and rechecked. They laughed at me when I suggested this. We'll see who laughs after I leap to the top of their towers and scream out my success. Uh-huh. He died. Chet, it's over. For him. But for me, the magic has only just begun. Okay. I, as a mage, will be able to make very good use of these spells, these scrolls, at a later date. Understand? They are powerful fast travel tools if you do them properly. I, don't, I wonder if that guy knew the girl I'm looking for. The guy, whoever it is. The dead person. It probably no longer matters. We're going to sell these things and then I reckon we're going to start heading up the road. We, we, we will return to Satanine in time. Perish, Scrib. Yes. We're just going to clear out our inventory before we go. I got, look chat, we got stuff to do. We gotta get to Balmora. I'm not gonna get any good spells out here. We're not gonna make any money or much of anything adventuring in Sedanine, all right? We go to Sedanine for like a minute, okay? And then as quick as that, it's gone, you know? I may pick up Fargoth's secret treasure real quick, though. No. If it's even spawned. I deactivated him so it may not exist, but uh, typically his feathers, his treasure's in here. It is not. Shame. Fargoth is dead and there's no one even to tell about it. I'm gonna ask a couple more people about that person. Hey, Rogue? Do you know Unoli Dress or Samaris? No? What about you, Bluteus? Excellent name, by the way. Do you know Unoli Dress or Samaris? No. Hey, yo. Babe. Do you know? Could you find my husband, Rendell Gervain? Who? My husband ran off again. I don't know where this time. All I know, he went to Surin. If you ever happen to find your stuff there, can you look for him? Hey, do you know Unoli Dreth? No? Okay. I'm not gonna... F Who's this guy? Rendell Gervain in Surin. Okay. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought that was a loot. It's just a broom. If it was a loot, I'd be stealing it and killing the woman. If I had to. Go ahead, stranger. Voldunus Nucius, do you know Unoli Dress? No. I'm done with you people. You're all idiots. All right, we're going to sell what I have, and then we're moving up the road. Whoa. Hey. 
You know who Noli Dreth? No. Well, eventually someone will fucking know who Noli Dreth is, Chad. Don't worry, we'll get there. We'll get there. Hey, I gotta pick up my moon sugar from you as well and put that into uh, a potion. Matter of fact, I don't think it's I stealing. Offer the best values in town. Thanks. Hey, would you buy this potion with moon sugar in it? If I, if like any of these make something? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Now I'm just gonna finish the rest of them myself. Yeah, you gotta keep that. Gotta get the highs where you can, you know. Here, okay, you wanna buy this? Yeah, he'll buy it now. Uh, I'd like to sell, uh, not the scrolls. This iron spark sword and this extravagant robe, sir. For $50. No, $47. $45. Excellent, excellent. All right, chat, we have about 327 bucks to our name. That means we can I'm go to right. Balmora comfortably. But why go by Silt Strider when we could fly by Magical Scroll that will kill us when we hit the ground? What say you? Are you pussy or tough boy? Come on. We'll follow the coastline and then we'll, we'll jump over into the river. All right. Okay. There we go. Let's just fill up our health before we do this. All right. This line seems good. We should land about there if we jump from here. So let's quick save and pull out the scroll. And let's fly. Ha! I vastly... Oh, it crashed again. God damn it. I was worried that would happen. Damn it. The one thing the game does not like is fast movement with the mods I have. It's fine, it never crashes unless you like do something very quick, like duck through a lot of the map very quickly. Good news is we quick save for a reason. It's like an aggressive dog. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. Don't worry, chat. It always works the second time. Ignore this mod. It doesn't actually exist in my mod pack because it's broken. You know, maybe that was a sign because we were going to die on that fall. Maybe that's a sign that we just take like, you know, a silt strider after all. Maybe that's like a sign that we don't do that. You know? Maybe that's like a warning. Wimp. What? Pussy. Jump. No. Chat. I'll die. Yo, Irene, do you know about Samaris or Anoli? I'm getting sick of asking you people. We're gonna take the Silt Strider. I'm not, I'm not making a fool of myself and crashing my game again. Okay, it's just not, hang on, wait, where do you take me? This guy also does travel. Balmora for $33. Yo, that's like a deal. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna walk. What's this about? If I could just buy a feather. Do you have a feather? <coughs> Fall? Or anything like that? Nah, it's probably not gonna happen. Yes? We're gonna walk scenic, okay? Scenic route, chat. It's important. Hey, don't run away from me. Do you know who no Lee Dreth? No. Fine! Jump! I'll die. Hang on, I got a better idea. Let's first go into this evil looking tower that I've been ignoring this whole time. Okay, how about that? This area is off limits until further notice, Valius. Not to a master wizard with the power of the tower. Sorry, wait, I meant, I meant not for a master wizard with the power of the tower in uh, 24 hours. Please stop. Okay, I won. The power of the tower. Begin. It's still today. Power of the tower! I'm in! Okay, this place is just as evil as I remember it being. Can we get some sick money here, though? Uh... That's evil. That's something evil. I don't like that. 
Uh, let's head up to the top here. Um, sacks full of ash yams. We want this stuff. Lots of lots of ingredients. The House of Troubles. You guys can skim this, but I will sell it. Ah, oh, it's a locked chest with moon sugar here. Empty vials, ink wells. We're getting in that chest, chat. It's just gonna make. I'm just gonna have to camp in here for another 24 hours. So don't, don't worry. <laughs> We're getting in there. That chest ain't locking us out for shit. Here we go. There's enemies nearby. Hello? Make yourself known! Are you in this thing? Oh yeah, they're down here, I remember now. Summon skeleton! Hey, summon skeleton! Face my strongest warrior! Ah, oh, she cheated again. All right. She's got a lot of health, I forgot that. This is like an actual- ah, I'm stuck! Help, God! God! Ah, ow! I can't move! I'm over encumbered! She's made me very weak. How long is that gonna be for? Get off of me! Ah. Ow! <laughs> She's got her staff out. Big mistake. You put the you put this game back in my corner, fool. Hit him. Hit her. Why are you just standing there? Dude, I hate my skeleton. He's so fucking stupid in this game. I gotta heal. Restore health. Go. Okay, my skeleton has despawned. Get her! Beat the shit out of her! Get her! Just hit her once! He does more damage than me in melee for sure. Get her! Oh. Almost got her. I gotta heal. Can't fight in the arena. Yeah, I bet I fucking could. I could have handled the arena like it was fucking nothing. Give me your stuff, wench. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It was epic. Silver longbow. All worth it for the silver longbow. All of it. Basket full of Kwama eggs. I'll be taking those. And a paper with nothing on it. Who would have thought? Flasks. More stuff. Cupboards that are empty. Barrels. More recipe ingredients for potions. Lots of potion ingredients. And a hatch. To Valenrin. Chet. I hate to break it to you, but uh, we can't get to Valenrin. This is a dungeon that is quite literally gatekept by being able to fly. Or use the Scrolls of Icarus, but those don't have a vertical leap to get us up there. That's like a late game dungeon in Morrowind Rebirth. So uh, we can't... Hell, we can barely get back up this little, like, slope. Don't worry, chat, we're gonna get... The jump scroll isn't... There's not enough verticality for that. We're gonna get Levitate and Balmora, don't you worry. Alright, and it's actually time to go. I know you guys all love Satanine, and you want me to stay here forever, but it's time to go. All right, we're gonna swing by the merchant one last time to sell all of our wares. The chest, the chest was empty. I opened the chest. I opened the chest, Chet. No, the locked chest? I'm not waiting another 34 hours. I won't do it, there's nothing good enough in there. I bet it's like fucking two silver. Besides, I don't really like power scumming in this game because you can you can get you can get into that fucking habit real bad more when power scumming like super hard because there's no limit for how much you can rest. Quickly, Outlander. Because it's not like a food system or anything. You can really power scum in this game pretty hard and just use like abilities forever. Now, let's try to make some, try to put some potions together with the stuff we got. All right, get this moon sugar out of the way. 
and the rest of it. Very good. We're just trying to clear out our inventory and just sell everything before we leave. I wish there was a faster way to do, um, alchemy. Though. Nothing. All right. A little bit more and we're done here. We've done enough. Okay, let's sell this stuff and go. Silver longbow, get rid of it. Keep the magicka. And everything else is sold. Okay. I'm gonna keep... I uh, actually, I wanna have... I'm gonna keep the torches, because they're actually pretty useful. This game gets really dark now. House of Troubles is a cell. Keep the muffin. All right. Let's ride, chat. Unless you know who Anoli Dreth or Samaris is, you do not. Okay. I might... Here's the thing. I might buy a resist fire spell. Not because I think I'm ever going to need it, but because if anything's going to kick my ass, it's the elements. And fire will kick my ass bad. Unlike any in this game. Might be good just to take it. Feather? That's not going to let me jump. I don't think that lets me jump any higher, chat. That just means I won't take as much fall damage. I mean, which might be okay. But it's not that great. We're going to save our money until we get to Balmora. Trust me, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Once we get to Balmora, we'll be able to get some good stuff. Okay? That's when we get to, like, pop off. We have enough money to actually, like, get levitate and, like, stuff. Okay, we just got to get to Balmora. So let's begin. Isn't Feather the one that lets you carry more? Yeah, but I don't exactly need to carry more just yet. Yeah, we got plenty of space. Why does only half of the Tamriel rebuilt map show? That's all that's been developed. Is what that is. And if you think there's more, there's not. That's all that's there. There is no more to Tamriel rebuilt yet. There's like a preview zone. But there's not there's not much yet. I mean no, that's not that, that me saying is that's not much. Is bullshit. The game, that's bigger than the game. Like, Morrowind Tamriel built is larger than actual Morrowind. This is classic Greece, alright? This is, this is the, this is a classic. Everyone else is living their lives, and there's this guy, in view of Satanine, wailing on rats with a small stick, and losing most of the time. That's classic fucking Grease Mage shit. Alright? Start summoning some skeletons so we can get our conjuration up as we travel. Come, chat. We've got a long way to go to Balmora. And I have some stops. I've got some shopping I have to do. Okay. Because there are things that I saw in previous games that I'd like to investigate. While I was, like, testing out the mod pack. So, okay. So, we're gonna swing by, though. Some of them are extremely worrying and a little bit horrific. If I were to describe it, uh, you know, if I were to describe it, it would be horrifying. The struggle of, of being, a, of not being a battle mage. I want some melee moves because, god, this game, this game gets boring if there's, uh, if there's ever, like, you go too far in either direction. Even with, even with how cool magic is, sometimes you can just end up going crazy. So right now we're just following the road down to Balmora. We can ignore the egg mine there, it's a trick. The cool stuff is later on. Okay, we might stop in Hlaoad. Okay. We may do a quick little pit stop in Hlaoad. Because there's something off the coast that I'm sort of intrigued by. I would like to investigate it. So we might do a quick pit stop in Hlaoad. But this is, this is like the threshold where the game starts and we're out of the tutorial zone pretty much. Hey. You know cannoli? You know what cannoli? It's a Satanine question, so no one here is even gonna care. Come on. Balmora is just over this hill and that way a little bit, but we're close. It's actually not that far of a trip. Over there, in the in the in the mist, you will see uh first of all skeletons at a boat. Over there you'll see some skeletons hanging out. That's normal. And over there in the distance you'll see. Fort Firemoth! You don't want to go to Fort Firemoth. Okay? You don't want to go to Fort Firemoth. 
Sounds nice. You don't- they- they- You don't want to go there. Where we're going is there. See that in the distance? I saw that while I was exploring- that's new. I don't know what the fuck that is. But, damn it if I ain't gonna check it out. That like- that- that- that, that silhouette as the sun sets. Shall we? We should get about halfway there with the hop. With- with the scroll. And this is Lawad, so we can come right back. We're gonna jump it. And we got water walking if it gets bad. Look at it silhouetted by the sun. There's something up about that place, I'm telling you, chat. That could be where our legacy begins. Oh, there's also a- Did you ever just accidentally walk by an ancestral tomb full of evil liches and ghosts? Hello? It's locked by a level 10 door. That's past my pay grade. <laughs> ah, you've kept me out yet again, Morwind. Kept me, you've kept me locked away again. We fly. Yeah! We should land a little short of it, and that's okay. It's part of the plan. Now we water walk the rest of the way. What is this? Off the coast of Laawad. Could it be some sort of dark citadel? A dark... A, a, an oil rig. <laughs> no, it's not an oil rig, Chad. Actually, it might literally be an oil rig. <laughs> it might just be like an oil rig. Is that a fly mod? No, that's just my scroll of a carry in flight. I get two more. What is this? Hello? Does anyone live here? I'm here to plunder it of all of its treasures. Uh, if you, if it's, if you live here, say something or I'm taking it. What? Wait, what? What is this? Note to all scavengers, to the buckaroos it may concern. Right. So this is my stuff now, not yours. It was the Dwemers, but they aren't around anymore. You and I are. So if you're not a mage, just go back into your little shack and find a different mark, you vulture. This one's my scavenged dead body. All right, if you are a mage though, come to Caldera. I'm going there to see if I can find a mage. But if the pompous switch there say no, I need you to come to Shank's shovel. They have this amazing dartboard there, okay? Ask Shank. If I'm already gone, then the job isn't open anymore. But I told Shank to give you a free drink if that happens. So yeah, you'll get a job or a free drink. Sounds like a good deal. Pick this up. Pick this note up uh, when you get it, though. Shank's only paid for the one free drink, okay? Bro. I'm a mage. I can go to Caldera. That's right next to Balmora. Chat. That's our... That's our job and or beverage of choice. Which way is it to Halawad? The, fo the fog has rolled in. Chat, which way is it to Halawad? Which way is it home? Wait, I have a map. It's this way. I can see the boat. Okay, dude, we're gonna do that. We are going to talk to that guy. Okay, that's our job. That's what we're doing today. We've got a job. We are a beginner wizard. If there's anyone that could fucking help this guy scavenge this Dwemer's thing, it'd be me. We're doing it. Come on. Away! Ah. I sure hope we don't land on the land. Oh no. Ah. Okay, we cleared a lot more gap than I was expecting. I'm gonna have to grab our quick save. I was expecting to land on the, uh, in the water when I did that one. Let's do it on a bit of a, do it on a bit of a fucking slope this time. That should, that should avoid the, uh, the problem. Matter of fact, I think we just jumped at a 90 degree angle away from the coast there. That probably was not very helpful. Whatever, we're, we're basically here. Hala Oad. Uh, this leads straight to Balmora. It's easy to get to. So we're gonna swing by Balmora, and then we'll pass right through Balmora once we pick up some cool spells. We'll swing right by Balmora, uh, to Caldera. I think that's where he is, yeah? Caldera? I mean, all I have is a note. I didn't get a quest for it yet. 
Yeah, Caldera. Yep. Okay, cool. I can do Caldera. Matter of fact, we can take the Balmora Mage Guild teleport to Caldera and speed up the trip. Dude, bro. This guy and me are gonna make so much fucking money. I'm a professional wizard. He's a professional scavenger. How could this go wrong? Piece of cake. Or free beer. That's right. This pays off for me regardless, so everyone get excited. This is gonna be good. We're professional. Professional? Chat, we are professional, okay? Don't fucking be mean. Don't be mean. Don't bully. This is my birthday. You can't bully me. Don't bully. Don't be toxic, okay? It's about you're not allowed to be mean today. You have to support me in my job ventures. Whatever those are, okay? Also, I need to pick up some more magic skills. We'll probably pick up Feather when we get to Balmora. How's that? Is that a dead body or is that a fish? That's a slaughter fish. Okay, I don't want to be eaten. Okay, so from here, Balmora's like right there on my marker. We're gonna have to walk. We don't have any more scrolls. But if we follow the map, we should get to where we're going. Whoa, what's that? Look at that fancy little house. All right, yeah, we're just gonna follow the path to Balmora now. No problem. Happy birthday, Tomato. Thank you. Happy birthday to you too. Wait. Wait, no. Speak, traveler. I take that back. It's not your birthday, so you don't get any happy birthday from me. But I, you get a thank you from me. Thank you. Hey. Hey. How you doing? You got any, like, weird stuff to tell me? No? There's something off about this town. I've never been able to put my finger on it, but it's, like, such a weird fucking weirdo town. I don't know how to describe it. But there's something really off about it. Like, there's, like, I, like, there's something wrong in that place. You know? I need to get out of town so I can rest. Little bit more. Little bit more. Little bit more. There we go. All right. Hey, man. Nice pants. Is it? Wait a fucking minute, chat. Is that his hairy ass? And if he turns, I'm so fucking worried about what this is. Uh. Oh, he's fine. 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 He was a Nord, so it could have been anything. Hey. Greetings, traveler. You should take care around these parts. There are murderous outlaws about. No telling what might happen to careless travelers. Okay, goodbye. Chat. Uh, come on, then. Say something or move on. We already, I already know this, because I played this game before. I don't want to scare you, but this guy is literally the murderous outlaw. Indeed, like me, you'll be giving me a hundred septums now if you want to live through the day. Either way, you choose is fine with me. You're growing weak. He called me, he said I'm growing weak. Hit you him! Will die when Ow! Ah. Hit him! Don't let him get me! Skeleton chat! Ah. I am growing a little weak. I don't remember Grease Mage being as weak as Slick, dude. Wow, you got fucked up? I mean, he had an axe, and I had to talk to him in melee range to start that conversation. Oh, rat. See, here's the trick. This time I'm gonna preemptively kill him. I'm gonna start the fight. That's the difference. Uh, come on, baby. See something or move on. Water walking. And shield. And skeleton warrior. And hit him with the elemental burst. Ha. He has so much health I give up. Activate water walking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, look at you. Ah. <laughs> I thought that would slow him down more than that. Honestly, when I... Chat, when I did that, I was pretty convinced he would slow down much more from the water. He just waded right through it. Okay, we need to become stronger. We are so weak right now. We need to get to the Mage Guild. We have so we have so few options to defend ourselves from assholes in the, in the streets. And there are a lot of assholes in the streets. It's not just this guy. So we're going to walk right by him. 
Another rat has attacked me. He only gets mad at you if you talk to him. Howdy. What say you? Nothing. I say nothing to you, sir. Let's RP walk the rest of the way. God, can you... Dude, there's someone out there in the real world who only runs in video games if the character would run in the video game. Imagine that. Playing Morrowind at walking speed. Like you don't have a thing to do today. God damn. Alright, well, if we keep following this road, eventually we'll reach the fork that takes us to Balmora. So we're gonna hit some rats on the way, get some XP. I respect commitment to RP like that. I don't know, dude. Morrowind's a game that is designed to waste your life. It's like, it's one of those kinds of RPGs. If you let it, it will take everything from you. It will take everything from you, all right? It'll ruin your life, all right? Don't let it ruin your life. It'll take everything. Everything. All right, the fork up to Balmora should be around here. Because Balmora's right about there. Honestly, maybe missing it. This map, Morwind is a tricky zone, okay? Until you've discovered places, this place is foggy and rainy and none too nice to be in. And we definitely overshot Balmora. Yeah, we overshot Balmora. This sign will tell us where to go next, don't worry. We should have just followed the river. The river literally takes you to Balmora. Balmora is at the mouth of the river. Well, the source. All right, maybe, maybe it's right here. We might be fine. No one panic. No one panic. We never get lost. We're not lost. Okay? We're not lost. Don't panic. Until we run out of food. Ah. Uh, map says Balmora, go this way. This is a road. All right, we're there. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be fine. God, running speed is so slow. Don't worry. We're, we'll start speeding up. We'll start speeding up soon. Don't worry. We're gonna start enhancing our powers. We're gonna start taking power enhancing drugs. Okay. We get speedy real quick. We just need a little bit more oomph before we get there. Oh, we could take a quick pit stop at this uh, ancient ruin. You wanna take a pit stop at this ancient ruin of death? Out of death is on the name. Andrethi Ancestral Tomb. If it's locked behind the 10 point door, I'm gonna get real mad. Ah. <laughs> All right, it was trapped instead. I'm getting real sick of these fucking tombs. Getting real sick of the tombs. Don't laugh! Stop laughing! How do I open a locked, a, a trapped door? I have an idea. I will activate. Oh, by the way, you can, this doesn't actually give you levitate, so don't even bother asking. Summon shield. This shield will break most of the damage. Ah. We're gonna need to take a potion with this, probably. If we add a potion onto the shield, we should be able to take that damage. Yeah. A little bit more should be enough to get us through this door. Here we go. Here we go. This time, for sure, activate shield. A a form of shield. Very good. Now, restore health. Now. We're live! Oh, oh, baby. Yo, yo, you gotta respect the hustle on Slip, okay? You gotta respect the hustle. That's how you magic your way through traps, okay? You, well, you help yourself because you're a wizard and you do what you please. Now to steal everything in this fucking building. Is that a vampire? It's either a vampire or a necromancer. Neither's a good option. 
<laughs> it's a vampire! <laughs> well, that was a fun trip. We learned a lot about ourselves, about the world we live in. I'm not interested in becoming a vampire just yet. Let's go to Balmora. Guys, I literally have to just climb this mountain. Balmora, wherever this path is telling us to go, Balmora is right over this hill. Literally just right over this hill. Okay. So I'm just gonna follow my heart. I'm not gonna follow like a path if Balmora, as long as I can, hopefully I can clear this. You can, you can like sort of, Skyrim, Morrowind, Oblivion, they're all the same when it comes to climbing sheer cliff sides. You do it at the right angle, you can climb almost everything in the game. So, uh, yeah, it's no problem to get over this mountainside and check for Balmora. What do you know? It's Balmora. <laughs> uh. It's him. Cliff Racer. Hey, hey little guy. Your death approaches. Ah, the only good cliff racer is a dead cliff racer, chat. That's how it is in this bitch of a world. Welcome to Balmora. If I don't die from fall damage, I'm alive. Welcome to, hang on. Welcome to, how do I get? Hang on, I'm gonna pray to God real quick. $35? I'd rather die. You're not that important, God. Uh, welcome to Balmora. And specifically, a quick trip over to the Balmora Mages Guild so I can join them for 10 seconds so I can purchase a spell or two or five. This is the Mages Guild. Let's head right on in. Hey, what are you looking at? You want to join the Mages Guild? Yes. Hmm, yes, you look like the sort that we could use in the Mages Guild. Will you take the Mages Oath? Sure. I'm now a member of the Mages Guild. You can ask for duties to perform. That won't be necessary, ma'am. It's truly been a pleasure. It really has. I'm not doing the Mages Guild quests. They're so boring. <laughs> We're not doing the Mages Guild quests. We're just stopping by here because this person will let us spell make spells for free. I, don't, I only have to join them to make spells. Chat, this is why magic is the coolest thing in the game, okay? You only buy spells so you can have access to the fucking base parts of it, okay? And because one of the mod spells I have has levitate technically for a split second, I technically can give myself a levitate right now on self. Okay. Duration on levitate? 30 seconds. What's the difference, chat? Someone would have to remind me. What is the point of magnitude on levitate? I can't even remember. What does magnitude on levitate even change? Speed? I see. Yeah, well, we can't afford. Look, levitate's a slow process for us, and that's okay. We'll have it, we'll level it out at like a 15. I don't have that much money. We need one that I can actually cast. 10 to 15, duration 30 seconds. Okay. Floaty float. I'm a professional wizard, so I name my own spells. Thank you very much for the magic. You have been very helpful. Chance, 83% chance to cast it. Let's bind this. As six. Floaty float. And now, chat, we can, as the name would imply, fail the cast. Yes. Don't you see, chat, the power of magic in this game? We can now floaty float wherever we so choose. We have no money. Wait, we still have a bunch of money. How'd I get so much money? Yo. Yo, will you take me to Caldera now? Oh, Outlander, did you want something? I'd like to go... Hang on, what do you sell for spells? Spell drinker, resist fire, great. 
That's actually pretty helpful. But I'd rather just make my own. It'd probably save me money just to make my own. I just need the base part. Spells. No, I, I, hey, yo, take me to Caldera for $27. All right, chat, let's find this guy. I'm still floating. Hello. I hope you won't take too much of my time. All right, let's get to it. Time to ride. Caldera, chat. The guy we're looking for is in Skink's Any Shovel, I think is his name. Shank's Shovel, I don't know. He's in a place with shovel in the name. Keep your eyes peeled, sir. We're looking for Shovel Zone. It's probably a bar. It's probably at the entrance to town. Matter of fact, that's probably it right there. Fargoth! This is Caldera, Slick Slippley, and my name is Nedalus. Can I help you? Are you looking for someone in particular? No, how did you know my name, sir? Fucking weird. Uh, Chad, I don't know how he knew my name. Speak freely, friend. Which guy? I'm looking for a guy that seems like he's out of place and really likes darts. <laughs> I'm looking for an Argonian, I think, that likes the dartboard at the bar. So I think it's this guy. Flimdar. Hey, you. <clears throat> yeah? Need some help? Got a job for you. You got magic? Magic? Yeah, magic. Spells. Goop from Antherius, the shiny. Fool, I hold powers beyond your understanding, beyond your comprehension, fool. Good. <laughs> that is good. I need a man with a very particular set of magical skills. Can't hire you if you can't even summon Vivek. Uh, okay. What's the job? Job? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've been rooting around a Dwemer ruin. I love those guys. They had everything figured out. I think they figured too much out because they're God now. Probably ascended into some greater state of living. So I put this Dwemer ruin in the bitter coast region. I want to go check it out, but this ain't a solo job, buckaroo. I need another man. You put it there? You put it there. Yeah, I put it there. <laughs> Messed around with some gears, pulled a few switches, moved it. Was a heck of a long swim. Good thing I'm water friendly, and I think that we all are. Yeah, I never asked Fine Mouth if he could do it. I just remember a lot of canal surfing. So, you game or what? Uh, I'm game. I'm in. Oh, you want the job? Don't word it like that, kid. First, you gotta earn it. Earn your keep. Whatever, I, I, I want I, I want to get something from this ruin. Hold something really important, something I need. This collection here, these Dwemer artifacts, they ain't holding a candle to what's in that ruin. I've read the schematics. I know what I need. Now I just gotta go and get it. You too. If you got the stones and the kidneys for it. How long do you think you can hold your arm up in the air? Probably about 10 seconds. Oh, prove it. All right, I hold my arm up in the air for 10 seconds. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Not as long as I would have liked, but what can you do? It'll work for our purposes. Good, good. That's test one. Can't talk here, though. Too many eyes. I've said too much already. Meet me at my shack, east of Flawad. We can talk further there. You can't miss me. I'll be the Argonian with the goggles on. You said you're sure that you're a grade-A spellcaster, right? Okay. Meet you there. Don't tell anyone about the Dwemer ruin I made. Okay. Bye. You're stuck on the door. You're stuck on the bench there. You need to... You're stuck on the bench, Flim. Flim, you're stuck on the bench. You want something, friend? He's... Uh... He's gone. You guys see that? Strange. I got a job. I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion. Move along. I'd like to join the Imperial Legion. All garrisons are presently at full strength, except perhaps 
the Deathshed Legion at Fort Darius in the West Gash near the village of Nisus. If you're interested, you'll have to talk to General Darius there. That sounds scary. Well, back to Caldera's uh, teleporter now. We gotta go back to Halawad, which you've already been to. My eye is twitching. Now nah, we're gonna do some other stuff first. We're gonna we're gonna sort of freestyle. But first, I need to get to the fucking mage guild. I want to buy some more get, some more some more spells. All right, we gotta we gotta get some more spells. Okay, I want like I need a ranged move that is good. Do you sell spells? Frederick's door jam. Summon skeletal minion. Armor reader. Spirit knife. Ah, that's sort of dumpy. You sell uh. You sell like. Ice Ball of Death yes, here. Yes, Outlander. And you sell... Hey, Flimdar. Oh, him? Yeah, we saw Flimdar. He was walking around the guild hall, bumping into everything because of those damnable goggles of his. He looks like an Ashlander, I swear. He told us that he was studying a, Dwemer, a dwarven ruin in the Bitter Coast region. Said that he put it there. Needless to say, no one here helped him. Oh. These guys are mean. Yeah, everyone, no one likes Flimdar by the looks of it. Flimdar is sort of an outcast, but you know, we're gonna help him out after I buy myself some fancy spells. No one has spells to sell. <laughs> All right, we're going back to Balmora. Take me back to Balmora for thirty dollars. All right, who the hell? What are you doing in here? Yes, High Elf. What are the latest rumors? I heard that Drell's Rindo and Nala's Duro are fighting over the Lucky Lockup. They want to have- they want to drink there without each other. A, a- a public disturbance? Chat, that sounds like a job for I, Master Wizard. As proven by my credentials. Hang on, I'm gonna sleep. Hey. This won't- this person won't talk to me. Hello? Please talk? I'm only giving you one more chance to talk. Alright? We don't play here, chat. We don't play. See, this guy talks. This guy talks. See, her name was just Mage. Who cares? I cannot think with all these interruptions. Please leave me alone. Ty. I want... Fi I want resist fire. So I can resist things. Thanks. That'll couple well with floaty float. I need to make some money before I go help that guy, I think. I want... Who's the destruction salesman? Oh, there it is. Here we go. I want Feather before I leave. I feel like Feather is going to be necessary for me. Because I, I am wearing heavy armor. I do want to buy Feather before I go. So we need to make some money. And how do we make money, chat? By forcing ourselves into people's problems. So I'm going to walk on over to the Lucky Lockup. I think I remember where that is in Balmora. And we're going to force ourselves to be their problem as well. And solve the problem of those two people fighting. I think Lucky Lockup is over here. We're gonna force our way in like a maniac. And then steal everything that they have while they're distracted. I'm pretty sure if I remember Balmora's layout. Uh, and trust me, the hardest thing about Morrowind is finding where to go ever. Um, lucky lockup. No, this is the corner club. This is the corner club. Then where's the lucky lockup? Oh, wait. Isn't Caius Casadas over here? I don't have the main quest yet. Fuck. I think the lucky lockup's this side then. Because if it's not there, then I'm lost. Be a traitor, scrub scribbled scrolls. <laughs> We're gonna die in Balmora. We're gonna die in Balmora. Is this all modded? This is all modded. Don't worry, Chad. I think the lucky lockup is this place. Activate sniper mode. All right, got him. Can't have any cliff racers. That's the Balmora Council Club. So this must be the lucky lockup, Bazongus. Hey, I've been hearing about fighting in here. The I suppose I would. Let's just start talking. Hey, 
Aren't those people that want to fight in here? I'm here to watch and monetize it. For profit. <sighs> Nalus. Have you seen Drell's Rindo? He never shuts up always talking and talks about the stupidest things. We agreed to have a fist fight to see who gets the lucky lockup as their drinking territory. If you help me get a trainer, I will teach you a few things with blunt weapons. I have blunt weapons. I'll help you. Yeah, you will help me. Well, I need to convince Hasfer and Tabalus at the Fighters Guild to train me. He thinks the whole fight over the bar is foolish. Foolish. Hasfat. Okay. You want me to find Hasfat? I can go get Hasfat. This better pay me like a dollar. I'm gonna get really mad. Cause, um, I am poor. I am so, so, so poor. Chat, we're so poor. It's a little, like, embarrassing. Like, I'm embarrassed to stream this game because I'm so fucking poor. Hasfat more like. Yo! Nice. Asphalt! You around here? Asphalt. This is a big building. He may, it might be hard to find him. Asphalt? Nope. Wait. I'd like to steal this stuff. I'm listening. No, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Asphalt. I'd like you to train Drell's Nalus. I will not train him just so we can win a bar fight. I would like you to train him. I would like you to train him. I would like you to train him. What if I admire you? How charming. Leave now. Well, I so did nice. try. I did try as hard as I could to convince him to train that guy. But it looks like I blew it. Don't you give me free potions if I join oh, you guys? Oh, Wait a minute! Yeah, that's right! If I join the Fighters Guild, everyone's gonna give me, like, free stuff. And the same goes for the Mage Guild. I can probably make my money back just by joining these two fucking suckers. Alright, yeah, I'm part of the Fighters Guild now. Who cares? Now let me just go into the fucking chest here and steal all of their stuff. They can't stop me. This is- this is communal property. Oh, oops. I don't know if I like this. This is mine to take. This is mine to take. This is mine to take. Technically, I'm an associate, so I'm legally allowed to take this. <laughs> and sell it. Don't worry, Chad, everything here is, uh, every this is the associate room. That means I'm allowed to take Aside from that one, aside from- Stop, I didn't mean it! Ow! You are ah! Help! I didn't know that was specifically not allowed! Help! Alright, now we go to the Wizard's Guild. It was just the hammer. Everything else was allowed. How am I alive? I'm almost unkillable now. You should know that. Now then. Give me all of these. Legally allowed to take those. Legally allowed to take that. Hey. Can I take this origin of the mage's guilt? Are you here about your wounds? You should find healing. Hey, is it cool if I like... Take some of this stuff. This is all owned owned. I think this is like a room. I don't think I'm allowed to take that stuff I think that stuff's more legal. I probably don't want to steal everything from the mages guild that uh, Maybe not fucking come out swinging that hard just yet. Hey This is this is owned. I cannot take that one We're looking for stuff that says owned and then associate underneath because I'm legally allowed to take those all right those totally fine Hello outlander hi I hope you won't take too much of my time. No, I'm just shopping around, ma'am. Nothing to worry about. I'm just shopping around. No problem. All right, well, let's, um, let's sell this stuff to a trader that isn't involved in either of these two parties, like this guy. Hey, Clendel. I really don't have time for this, so make it quick. Okay, would you like to purchase? Oh yeah, you're like a specialized trader, so you only buy like trash and you lose like most of your sales. Are you an actual trader? Are you a pawnbroker? Oh, that's the outfitter. Where's the pawnbroker? 
There we are. Up there. Right here. We want a pawnbroker because they'll buy everything. Delete. Chat, I cannot delete everyone. I'll get in big trouble. There's no guard in here, huh? I could kill this person when I'm done with them. Ta steal all their stuff and sell it somewhere else. That I am legally allowed to do. I'm selling the other scroll of a carrion flight. We're not going to need it now. We're, we're, we've gotten levitate. We're good on that now. We're not going to need it. We're about to make a lot of money. We're about to make even more once I make a bunch of potions on top of it. Journal of Tar Heel. Sell. Mixed Unit Tactics. Sell. Origin of the Mages Guild. Sell. And we're going to raise the value of this to 230. Okay? 227. Give it to me. All right, now I can go buy Feather, and then we can go to Hlaawad. Not a problem. Back to Hlaawad. Fortunately, the Mage's Guild doesn't hate me. So, um, I should be allowed to go in there. I don't remember if they actually sell Feather, though. I don't think I can make my own yet. We're gonna have to look around here. Wait, don't the guards look for you if you steal? They'll never catch me. I can fly. You have to remember. Chat, I don't follow. Chat, remember who I am. Okay. Yeah, good luck getting me now. You know? Good luck getting me now. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You know? Nah, no, not getting me. Where's Feather? I want Feather. You guys sell feather? You sell feather? Feather strong. Hey, that sounds good to me. Got it. Okay, cool. Let's go. Now I can carry extra stuff. You know, I made the duration on this levitate far too long. And, uh, promise that it doesn't go away until its duration is done. So I'm basically just sort of stuck going snail pace with floaty float until it deactivates. Alright, we're ready. Let's meet that guy in Hlawad. Which is a nice short trip if we just go right over the mountain here. With the power of floaty float. What's heavier? A pound of feather strong or a pound of brick strong? Am I five years old? What is this? What are you doing? This is like one of those things that you do to like pick on like an idiot kindergartner who doesn't like fucking know how to connect dots. <laughs> Got him with another excellent, silly little joke. Like, activate feather. This is an expensive spell, dude. Look, chat. Look. It's an ancient burial tomb. I know we haven't done much exploring, but that's because the first session of Morrowind requires a little bit of setup, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, like, stuff you gotta take care of before you can Morrowind. You wanna go in this tomb? Last tomb we went in, we fucking exploded. I resisted the magic too easy. I'm in! Take everything that ain't nailed down! Take everything that ain't nailed down! The ghost is starting to realize there's something up! Everything! Pants! Mine. 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 Nothing. It's quiet in here. All right, take everything. All of it. Locked. Not for long. I'm coming in. Repair hammer. Not really worth spending my daily activation on that. But you know what? Give me this. And this. And the resin. And these ash salts. And all that. <laughs> Creepy wall. Dead guy. I'm waiting to turn one of these corners and see something fucking terrifying, because I installed a really spooky undead mod. And, you know, any second now we could just turn- that's a master level lockpick. Nice. Any second now we could turn a corner. Yo! And I just leveled up security. Any second now we could turn a corner and just find, like, super mega Satan in, like, a fucking, you know, one of these rooms. Steel home open, that's a cell. 
That's an easy sell. Dude, this is a nice haul. This was good. No one even attacked me. The only ghost in this place seems to be behind this door right here. Matter of fact, I can see their arm. Get ready to tango, my son! Oh yeah, that's a bone walker. He's got a lot of health, but he's slow. That's his weakness. He doesn't have much motion. So he's an easy kill. Did my skeleton just despawn? I mean, this guy can't keep up with me, so we're probably okay. Yeah, we'll just smack him in the head. Ow! Yeah, we'll just hit him in the head at range. There's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing to be concerned about here. This is nothing. Just take him out. Is this the high octane Morrowind gameplay you guys wanted? Hiding in the dungeon. Nothing of value yet. That's a level ten. Le ah! Fuck! Son of a bitch! How many things are you gonna lock with the, with traps? Oh, look what you've done! Look what you've done! You made the game angry. Look what you did, chat. You guys are making the game angry. I blinked what the fuck happened. I walked up to a box and I tried to open it. And the box said no. Hey. It's fine. I'll kill him much faster this time because I'm just going to use magic. I'm over encumbered. Did he fucking debuff me? He, gra he grave cursed me. Oh, you dick. Activate Feather Strong. I'm still too heavy. I have to get naked. But not too naked. <laughs> Just not too naked, because there's a cock underneath my pants. Don't ever forget that. Oh, fuck you, guy. Yeah, you hate my one spell. Hey, that's destruction, huh? Not a problem. Okay. I'm gonna pick back up my shit now. Put it back on. Nice and easy. Good. Quick save. Heal. Heal and shield. And then open this box. Ah. Okay, that is a very dangerous box. Now we know. We're learning. I've gotten through boxes that are worse. We Remember the door? Remember the door? Remember the door? We get some healing on that as well. That box ain't gonna stop us anymore. Check it. Just let me... Just gotta get this healing in. Check it out. Alright, check it. Observe it. As soon as this spell goes off... Botazingus, you see that? It was nothing. There's nothing in the box. There's nothing in the box. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, I gotta go outside and get my mana back now. Wait, no, I have a potion. There we go. Wait, was that it? Wait, wait, drink another. Okay, there we go. And this one's just locked. But I'm not getting in there because I my power's already been used for the day. I'm not gonna cheese the lock power. We gotta we gotta get the unlock move on our own. Hey! God, I'm glad these guys are nice and weak. Thank God. They're nice and easy to kill. Alright. Anything? Nope. Book of the Dawn and Dusk, that's a cell. Lesser domination scroll, that's a cell. Fatigue standard, and what is this? Key to Theris tomb chest! Hey, hey, Balazongus, we got it, baby! 
That's what we wanted. Now we just open this untrapped chest. And it actually has a high quality scroll and like stuff to buy. Well, so specifically that iron bow. I'm not going to take the chitin one. Blangzo. All right, to Hawad, let's go. We could rest outside now that we finished the dungeon. But I don't want to spam resting otherwise because it's just sort of cheesy. Oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to activate floaty float to get over this hill. <laughs> My maximum power. Go! <laughs> we're not even floating. We just walked up a hill. Whatever. That way's Hawad. Let's go. We just walked up a hill. There was no float. Amazing. Truly extraordinary. Only me, Slick Slippery, could possibly clear that gap with my magical powers. Now let's go find that guy. And he said he lived on the east side of Flawad. I'm almost positive that weird shack totally separate from everything is probably him. But first, I'm gonna check out this weird shack totally separate from everything just to be safe. Hey. Die. I need more powerful magic if I'm gonna like fucking help this guy loot a Dwemer tomb, dude. I have nothing. Like, I yes, I have utility spells, but like, that ain't gonna get me out of much trouble. You know? That ain't gonna help me much. Yo, is this the Grusmoog? No, this is Sli- uh, this is Slick Slippley. Uh, his Hollywood actor. Uh, we canceled Grease Mage. Grease Mage. Because, um, people didn't like how much nakedness he, in he was involved in. People thought that was a little bit weird. Hey. Voriplasm. Oh, you're alive. Okay, ow! Ow, 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 ow. We're gonna saunter over to me. How long am I gonna be dying for? I need to start healing. Really need this heal to proc. Really need this heal to proc. Really need this heal to proc. Getting a heal to proc would be pretty awesome. I keep failing this heal. It's a 30% chance to succeed. I failed it 30 times. There it is. All right, we're not doing this. Help. Help. To Halawad! Master wizard chat look he doesn't have to know that I'm actually a very average wizard Okay, because he's very clearly a very average scavenger Okay, this guy he's not gonna fucking know the difference. Okay, we're gonna bamboozle him real fucking bad We're gonna get our money. We'll probably kill him when we're done. Okay Easy like it's nothing We'll take him out. We'll dispose of his body in the ectoplasm realm Piece of cake Rest until we're healed, so I get all my mana back. Kwama. It's a dark, stormy night. This has got to be the guy. I didn't see any other houses that stand out. And this guy's house has, like, fucking... Yeah, a gigantic Dwemer cog out front. That's probably him. Yep, Flimdar's house. <coughs> what the hell? Hi. Hey, you made it. Home sweet home, I say. Now, there are a few tests you'll need to go through. We need magic to get past some of the obstacles mentioned in the schematics. What do you mean, tests? All right, buckaroo, here's the deal. I need to know your weight while you're naked. That is, unfortunately, the one thing I cannot do, friend. Right, so you see that panel in the corner? The one that you stand on? That you can stand on? Get naked. Go over there and stand on it. And then press the four buttons, doesn't matter what order, just do it, okay? You want me to get naked? That's the one thing I can't do. I said no armor or clothes. Oh my god, there's no way. <laughs> to hide the screen. <laughs> you guys can't peek, okay? You can't peek. While I get naked. Okay. No look. I 
I'm naked. Journal's been updated. Now excuse me, I have to put back on my clothes. Specifically, my pants. Excellent. The pants are on, you may now observe. Well, actually the pants are not on. Now the pants are on. I was sort of going commando underneath the skirt there. Dude, imagine upskirting me and you just see my character's legitimate cock and balls gang. This is a cursed fucking mod pack. How did I let this happen to me? Okay, well, I'm nice and clothed. Did you get what you needed? You've still got a few more tests before I'll be ready to trust my life in your hands. Like what? All right, might I say, you look good in the nude. Not in a sexual way, in the, the beauty of the Arbus kind of way, righto. <clears throat> All right, uh, are you done? Right, let's see. I need to know if you can fly. A few days ago, I accidentally stuck my Dwemer throwing knife into the top of the tree outside. I need you to fly up and get it for me. You got that? I have a feeling I'm just, you're just having me do chores. Uh-huh. Come back when you have it. Okay, I can fly. I got floaty float. I knew that I needed that. People always need floaty float. Now, where's that thing? There it is. Jesus, look at this place. All right, one Dwemer throwing dart. Coming right up, sir. Floaty float. My most powerful move. Got it. You've still got a few more tests before I'm willing to trust you with my life. Hey, there it is. Good work. Looks like you can fly. Okay, right. Uh, for the uh, next test, right. Uh, how about you go use some of your fancy divination spells to find my lost key? I dropped it outside somewhere. I don't, I don't know where. Go find it and bring it back to me. That, that'll be test three. Uh, uh, four. Wait. Uh, yeah, three. Test three is done. Four is find the key, okay? Okay. I think I don't need magic to find the key. Give me like a second. Underneath something here. He must have dropped it somewhere stupid. So it's like, give me a second. I can, I can find this. In here. Ha ha ha. Lightning. The storms are coming. It's somewhere back here, Jack. Give me a fucking break. It's in here. We'll find it. God damn, we'll find it. What's this? Anything back here? Muck shovel. Underneath the muck shovel is a dwarven key. So easy. Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you for the gifted subs. Easy, so easy. Magical sense. I don't even need it. You've still got a few more tests. Hey, well, there you go. You found it. Uh, looks like that magical study really paid off. You can find all sorts of lost keys. What a unique and incredibly specific spell, huh? Ah, well, okay, next one. You're going to prove to me that you can cast frost spells. Wait, what? Uh, you know, make it really chilly, like a naked Nord walking his Atmoran dog at four in the morning with icicles on his testicles cold. Testies cold, I see. You see that flint over there on the desk? Freeze him up for me, will ya? I don't have a frost move, chat. What I do have is elemental chaos. I have an elemental burst that technically does four damage of frost on touch. It counts! That counts, baby! Yo, that counts, baby! Hey! Yo, I'm the best wizard ever! I've been ready for everything! What else- what have you got for me? Hey! They're all cold! I might want to keep you around after the expedition, Slick Slippily. That's solid work. Really quality work right there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Next test. How many more tests are there? A few. Wait. Uh, never mind. This is this is the last one. Right. Um, so next test. This will be test seven. I don't know. I'm not keeping track anymore. Okay. There's this big Dweber cog outside of the shack. I need you to I need you to move it. I got too tired dragging it, Slick. It's too heavy. I drug it two miles from that Dweber ruin. I, I dragged it and drug it until I couldn't drag it anymore. Now I just get sad looking at it. You need me to move a heavy cog. How does that involve magic? I need you to drag it inside the backyard using your magic. Do you think you can still do that? 
Slick Slippy? Do you think that you, Slick Slippy, could cast something on the cog to make it lighter so you could drag it to my backyard? It'll probably take a really specialized special spell, Slick Slippy, and it's relevant to the expedition. It's stuff that I need done to see if you can do what needs to be done, Slick Slippy. You'll have to make that cog as light as a feather, Buckaroo. It weighs a lot. How heavy is it exactly? Really, really heavy. Very incredibly, colossally heavy. I've still got scar tissue and emotional trauma to prove it. Just use your magic on it. Quickly now. I don't want to cry in front of you, Slick Slippy. Bosses, they don't cry in front of their employees. Go! I have a feather spell, but it is not feather on touch. I'm very worried. This might be the gatekeeper. It's too heavy to carry. Oh, no. Because this is not feather on touch. Fuck! I'm gonna have to go back to Belmora and buy a one power feather on touch spell. Unless I have like a fucking scroll that'd do it. Not the master wizard, D. Colin. And how was I supposed to know I'd need to do that? I just leveled up my strength. I could snap your neck in half. Don't fucking pick on me! Okay? I will kill at a moment's notice. The ma a master would have known. I mean, I got pretty chat. We didn't have to go back for any of the others. I mean, we did pretty good there for those, for those tests. I'm just worried about how many more there are after that test. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, one more trip to Balmora, I can do. Eight more trips to Balmora. I don't know, at that point. Okay, you know what? I still feel way too slow. That's better. We need like another 10. I still feel like I'm at snail speed. Maximum speed. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Morrowind speed, dude. <laughs> This quest is great. Yeah, I want to I want to see how this wraps up. I feel like we die. Here's a blur. Yes. Yeah, watch out. Try to squint. If you can't see it too clearly, try squinting, chat. All right. Try to keep your eyes peeled. You may catch him. Maybe it wants telekinesis. I don't know, chat. It said, if only you could make this as light as a feather. If only you had some spell that could make that item as light as a feather, perhaps you'd be able to move that thing if it was as light as a feather by the feather spell. I think it wants me to make a feather on touch spell, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna trust my gut on that one. And feather on touch. Nah, probably telekinesis. I'm gonna trust a uh, feather on touch. I'm going to sell some more stuff or else I won't have enough money to do, to do it at all. Fortunately, I have stuff to sell. Alright. Hey. Barter. Scroll of Lesser Domination. Ditch it. Scroll of Elemental Burst. Fire. Ditch it. Helmet. Amulets. Rings. Invisibility is staying. Oh, that was my Restore Mana spell. There we go. Ditch that, ditch those pants, and that'll make us a clean bit of cash. Nice, now we can buy the spells that we need. I may even buy a couple of extras. It seems like this guy expects me to be able to do almost everything. So we might as well buy you enough like spells and options line, to do almost everything. I feel like that's a safe plan in order to do this quest responsibly. You know? So we'll probably just grab everything that makes sense for a wizard to have and we can like upgrade it with the spell maker. So first of all, spell making, feather on touch, magnitude one. I'm challenging this game, I know it's only one. One, duration, one, area, zero. Just a smile. It just makes you feel a little bit happy when you're that light. All right, spells. I want to buy some more stuff. Specifically, ma'am, I would like 
Paralysis on touch sounds fucking spicy. And I would also not mind getting myself. Mm. Greetings. What exactly do you require? Open of me? door. On Ducey's open door. I know we have an unlock spell, but I don't like cheesing it that bad. Getting on Ducey's open door is going to cover our, the rest of our bases on that. Paralysis is good shit, though. I'm pretty sure my casting chance on Paralysis is incredibly low, though. 29% chance to succeed. Yeah, we got to get our illusion up before that's going to work out. All right, let's book it back to that guy. Be quickly. I'm glad Argonians don't have... That looked exactly like he was just naked. He's wearing pants. Those are pants. But it did not look like pants. It looked like he just had flesh legs and like a, like a flesh lump where I, like, you know, there would be stuff there. I, I don't know, chat. Come on, let's just get out of here. Back up the coast. Who are you? No one, now. That's me flexing my magical powers. Remember that. I think I can use the Balmora uh, Sedanine route to get to my destination faster. Technically, if I set travel. Scenic travel to Sedanine. And I can tell him to let me off at any point. So I'm going to scenic travel once I've quick saved. Where would you like to say to Neen? This isn't much faster. Hang on, go faster. Increase your speed. Wait, wrong way. Let me off. Ow! <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna need to fucking <laughs> do it ourselves. I think we're gonna need to. I right, we're, <laughs> we're gonna need to. Don't laugh. We're gonna need to fucking walk there, okay? I didn't want to have to do another trip. We're gonna have you to make walk. a special trip just for you. Oh yeah, you're gonna make a special trip for just for me? Ow! I can't even fall right. Restore health. Restore health. I said restore health. Restore my health. Don't worry, chat. We're wizards. We can easily recover all of our health whenever we need to. Pro mage right here. I'm a pro mage in training. You guys are so mean. You were never like this to grease mage. You were never like this to grease mage. I don't know what happened to you. Not even training. I don't have the man in the train. I need to rest until healed. Then now I can train. I'm gonna keep doing, I'm gonna keep restoring health until I do it successfully every time. That's the responsible thing to do. I gotta jump the hill right here to get to Halawad. Pretty sure our house is right on the other side of this hill. For those that aren't aware, uh, magic cast chance is also impacted by how much stamina you have. So as I run farther, my stamina goes down because you lose stamina running in this game. This is actually me sprinting as fast as I can. Uh, the chances go down. Okay, where's the guy? We haven't passed him yet. Look at how many times I did it right right there. Did you see that? I'm popping off, dude. Okay, there's the shack. So our boy, Flimdar, should be right over this hill. I'm under attack. Where's my staff of death? Stay back! Stop it! Ah! Oh. I thought I won for a second. This is a good dummy to level up your blunt attack. Because he's got so much health. He broke my staff. He ate it. It's broken. It's broken. Completely, it's broken. I think I can... 
You cannot repair items during battle. Well, it's been a pleasure, sir. It really has. I have no mana, so I'm leaving. Think Flimdar will let me sleep in his house if I ask? I think Flimdar will let me nap in his place if I just come in and ask real quick. Because I sort of need to. Hey, man. Hey, good to see you. You mind if I, uh, kick it? Yeah, baby. We're cool. Me and him are buds. Okay. Now to end this with paralysis move. Yeah, fuck you! Yeah, what will you do now? Oh, he'll just break the paralysis. Okay, I won. Did you see that though, chat? I became strong for a moment. Hang on, I'm gonna repair the wooden staff. I failed, I failed again. I failed again, I failed again. There we go. Well, that was all my hammers. I got it to about 50% before it broke. Oh well. Okay, so here's that here's that cog. Cannot lift it right now. Let me grab smile. Go! Right or attack? Feather on touch! <laughs> that was a one magnitude feather. Yep, that'll just about do it, buckaroo. All right, you're ready for the expedition to Mzmelswan. Just hope you make sure... I just hope he's, that the scratched out parts of the ruin schematics weren't anything important. What do you mean? Scratched out parts. That's the one. Melthazan. The Dwemer had such an eloquent way of speaking. Flimdar closes his eyes in bliss for a few seconds, savoring the word. Right. <clears throat> So this ruin is in the ocean southwest of La Wad. It used to be in the inner sea between Vardenfell and the mainland. I put it in the bitter coast region so that I could get it get to it easier. While I was rooting around in there, I came across an obstacle. Found some schematics, though. They're on the wall. At least, I think they are. When are we heading out? As soon as you're ready, Slick Sip Slippily. I'm of the opinion that we should go grab some potions and equipment from one of the larger towns, Balmor or Surin, or something, uh, just in case. Lead on. Oh, and if you have any travel commands for me, feel free to shout out. I don't do well with standing in large open spaces. It makes me feel vulnerable. Like a cliff race is going to attack me at any time. Are we buds? We're buds. He's my travel buddy. Flimdar's my boy. Hey, you, yeah, you. Do you want me you want me to be a valuable asset in combat, right? Well, Buckaroo, you're in luck. Bring me some Dwemer scrap metal, and I'll be able to upgrade my armor. Don't like sharing your loot? That's fine, but that stuff's heavy, and I doubt you'll find any other use for it. He's right. That's awesome. Welcome to the team, Flim. We have no fucking ways to restore. I mean, chat, here's the thing. I'm fucking I'm a god, okay? If anyone can handle this this ruin it's me i don't need potions we already have mana all right we have mana we have some mana potions we're going out there right now come on the most dangerous thing on this trip is actually just going to be slaughterfish if i'm gonna be honest a little bit worried about them i know we have one thing we couldn't have any other way we got friendship we got a buddy we got a friend if we if we already have a friend what more do we need we got a buddy. We got a friend. Is this a modded quest? Yes. Yes, this is a modded quest. Come along! Yeah, most of the best quests for Morrowind other than the Telvanni house are modded. Morrowind's questing scene is sort of very hit or miss. Hang on, I want to kill whoever lives in this boat real quick. Flimdar, are you down to do a murder? You down for that? How down are you for murder, Flim? Because, like, I gotta know that you're on my side here. Okay. Get ready to tango. Where are you guys? There's no one here. There's a metal pitcher. A large chest with clothes in it. Nothing else. Paper. Really expensive books that are mine now. Thank you. Rolled paper with nothing on it. Come on, Flim. Let's get out of here.
Hello? Flip, where the fuck is everybody? What is this? It's like... Look at all their clothes, it's just on the- Oh, that is spooky, what the fuck? Chat. No one's here, it's just all their clothes. Everyone's clothes are on the- are everywhere, but there's no one- Whoa! Take it. Take all that raw ebony ore? A steel club? Gold? More raw ebony ore. I don't know what the fuck people are up to here, but they... There was something up. Failed to cast in the spell. Hang on. Here we go. How much can I carry when that's active? Plenty. Look at all this stuff. Flim, I'm gonna need to do some alchemy. You keep watch. He's very excited about something. I'm going down. Hello? Bones. People's bones. An ash statue, that's not good. Aren't those like bad? Isn't, those, isn't that something you do not want to see? God, look at all this fucking stuff though. We're gonna have to do a second trip to grab all this stuff later because this is, this is way too heavy to carry all of it right now, but that is a lot of ebony. I don't even know if you're allowed to sell raw ebony in this game. I'm pretty sure that's like a fucking like illegal thing. I don't think they let you, I don't think people buy raw ebony. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Oh. My feather wore off. Alright, well, we're gonna drop the ebony and we're gonna remember that this stuff is all here. He can't go one stream without doing the sloth bit, can he? What do you mean? Chat, this is the second time this has happened. I don't know what the fuck the sloth bit is. People keep saying he keeps doing the sloth bit. I don't know what the fuck that even is. My rest has been interrupted by an evil Kwama. Damn, Flim! Fucking Jesus! Alright, Flim, let's get out there. Let's ride. Try to avoid the slaughterfish. He's not. I think he's about to get fighting in a minute. He'll be fine. We're just gonna keep running and hope that Flim's not getting eaten alive by that slaughterfish while we go out while we go out here. Are you good? Oh, now there's multiple, and that's a gigantic crap man. Uh, we'll just act like there's not a, there's not a problem. We're fine. Okay. It's like a big crab now trying to eat him too. <laughs> Let's just make sure we don't go in the water, cause they're aggroing him cause he's in the water. Almost there. Really? The sloth bit again? Omega love? <laughs> I don't know what you mean! <laughs> he's gotta be quicker than the slowest guy. Flynn? Oh, he's fighting back there. Oh, look at the blood! Rim, do something! Get off of my boy! Looks like they're eating him alive! They're eating him alive! Leave my friend alone! They're just tearing him up! Fucking crap guy! Run, Flim! He's punching him! Oh, Flim. Oh, Flim, how am I gonna help you? If I go in there, I get eaten. Of course. I could try just killing him. Oh my god, please. There we go. Summon skeleton! My son! Where's my son? My son? I'm being killed. This is such a bad scene! Flim, you're on your own, bud! Flim will probably make it. I think he just actually died.
Hang on, I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay, hang on. <laughs> Fuck off. I must know if this is possible. Flim? Flim, you need to surface for Actually, I don't think he does. I don't think Sim needs to surface for air. Yeah, what's going on? Is Flim, are you coming? Oh, he's so confused, chat. He doesn't know what his life is supposed to be anymore. It looks like we're gonna have to deal with those slaughterfish one at a time. Because otherwise, Flim is just going to be fucking ripped to shreds by monsters. He doesn't seem to know. Don't follow Flimdar to die. If you do, don't resurrect him. Okay. Then I will... I have done that. We're good. I wish I had a water walking on touch, though, so I could keep Flim from being fucking killed here by slaughterfish. I think he's already getting attacked by one, believe it or not. Uh, yep, there's like eight of... I don't know why he's so appealing to slaughterfish, but they love him. They love him. They love him. They want Flim so bad. Okay. Come on, Flim. We're gonna get to that rock, and we're gonna hang tight there, and see where the enemies are. No problem. Nice, safe rock for healing. Man, who would have thought this would be so dangerous to get Flim out here? How did you get here? How did you get... How did this little ah. bastard get on the rock? Oh, God, they come! Okay, okay, hey, hey, hey this, is a ch this is our chat. I can hit this guy from the water, and he can't hit me, so we'll just hit Flim, and that's, that's how we do it. Kill him before he kills Flim. Easy. All right, way easier when he's not after me. I got him, now slaughterfish. Okay. Come along, Flim. It's time to get you to that Dwemer ruin. He's so dumb. Yeah, there's a reason you don't bring companions in Morrowind, chat. They're idiots. He's not very smart. But he will get us into that ruin. And that's what's most important. Okay? That's what we're after. If we have to choose between Slip and Flim, chat is choosing Flim. Oh. Flim? Oh my god, Flim. How did he like coat? He must have like fucking lathered himself in like fat. Oh no, it's another one of these fuckers. Oh, Flim. Why, Flim? Why? Good news is I can actually hit this one. He's close enough to the surface. Okay, let me down, let me down, let me down, let me down. Gotta hit this guy. Okay. All right, Flim. Come on. It was so close, Flim. Just a bit just a bit farther, Flim, and we're almost there, man. We're almost there. Just a little bit more, Flim. Just a little bit more. Ow! We just have to get him there. I get the feeling we won't have to care about him anymore once he's there. We just have to get him a little bit closer. He's with us right now. I don't see anyone chasing him. Or is that a gigantic crab behind him? No, we're fine. We're fine. We made it. We'll make it. We'll make it. We're gonna be fine. Can you cast Levitate on him? All my stuff is cast on self because why would I ever need someone else? To have any of my abilities. This is the first time I've ever had to babysit a companion. This is the first time I've made a friend. Come on, Flynn. Get up here. Up. Could you have done that the whole time? Could you? Maybe we'll all disappear one day. Major's Guild crackpot sitting at his desk one day. Boom! Miscalculates a number and sends everyone ner in, everyone on Nern up in smoke. Scary thought. Then again, maybe the Dwemer went somewhere nice better than here. All right, fucking weirdo. Come on, chat. 
Let's get down into the dungeon. After I've healed. Watch me need like super magic to survive this place. There's a chance. Here we are. Man. Dremor tech and ain't all that complicated. Just gotta have a head for it. Figure out what figure out what the gears are doing. Which pistons fills which pipe? What switches activate what things? It's like a big math problem, except it's all gears and knobbies instead of numbers. Oh, and you need math too. Isn't this place a beauty? Don't touch that lift just yet, though, buckaroo. Let me tighten those bolts. Just a few here, and... Oh, this one. Was that all? Yeah, I think that's all of them. Probably. It should be good now. Nothing to worry about. Just had to leave a few security measures. That's all. Security measures? I told you. This here's my ruin. Scavenging's a competitive trade. Gotta protect what's yours. Loosen a nut here, shatter some bulbs near that pressure plate. You know, standard stuff keeps the scroungers away. I see your cogs turning now. Don't worry, I'm a professional. Do what I say on the inside and most of your limbs should survive the expedition. Okay. See, I told you, nothing to worry about. Looks like there's no mess up here at the end of the shaft either. Means we haven't had any unwelcome visitors. Good, good. I know you're going to want to take a look around, sport. See the wonders of my ruins. Sure, I don't mind. Just hands off the artifacts until you've earned your share. And uh, when you're done ogling, we need to head through that door there. Schematics call it the Cells of Concatenation. Okay. Wow, this place looks great, Flim. So that's the door. Where's this go then? Look at this place under the water. This looks awesome. So what's this area then, Flim? Robot spider. They're pretty weak. And they don't fight back. They're sort of idiots. He's just trying to get away from me. He's dead. I think Flim did that. Yo, I've got Dwemer scrap right here, Flim. For you. I've got a single piece of scrap for you. All right. Yeah, we just make sure we grab all that scrap as we go. Melthazan Karef's Rest. I just want to, like, take a peek around. All right, this looks out of my pay grade. Hang on, this treasure, though. Will Flim care if I use Onduce's open door to try to open this locked chest? I think he's in fight mode. Hang on. Dwemer boots for $500. And a bunch of Dwemer coins. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Lots of money here. Lots of money to be made here, chat. Lots of money to be made. All right. Let's, um, let's go into the room he told us to go into then. No. Without any further ado, I don't want to waste any time. Get us killed in the dungeon. Cells of Concentiation. Okay. It's quiet. Looks like, uh, looks like really quiet. Nothing at all, actually. It's really completely eerily quiet. Is that it? Yep, this is the place. Well, not the place. A misplace. But not far off. See that door up ahead? Even s ever seen one that big? Me neither. It's locked. I need it open. That's where you come in. Follow me. I'll give you the rundown. Dude, Flim freaks me out because he seems to be more powerful than he's letting on. I really don't know about Flim. He does some things, chat. All right, so this is what we're working with. See that slot? Keyhole? Just your specialty, right? Well, believe me, I've turned this place upside down, literally, and not a key to be found. You can try spells if you like, but my gut's telling me we need to go deeper. Usually a good idea to trust my gut. He's real familiar with the schematics. Deeper? Deeper. See them doors we passed by? The ones with gratings in front? My ruins got even more secrets she's trying to keep from keep to herself. Seems whatever's locked down this big door here also barred those as well. Good news this time though. Good for me at least. I know there's another route to bypass those grates. Follow me. Are you where are you sending me? No, you're not gonna fucking send me into the pipe. No he's not. No he is. He's sending me in the pipe. Flim. Right, see this hatch here? This toilet pipe? Schematics say it leads down into the disposal unit. Also says the room on the other side of our grates leads down to the same place. Not an adjacent place, just adjacent to it. 
See where I'm going with this? Now, it's a bit too hot down there for my blood, so you're gonna have to solo this part. Probably a good time to prime those flying spells of yours. To get the hatches open, I'll need to fire up the grinders. Stay clear of them. I'd rather not have to find another mage. Exactly how hard are we talking? You passed the test, remember? It'll work out, right. It's all old flid now, just like old, t just like last time. Wait, did I give you the grinder test? Might have forgotten that one. You made it through the heat tank just fine, though. Oh, wait. I never did get that bit working. Too clogged up. No matter, you're a mage. You you'll figure out something. I actually did buy a fire resistance spell. Head on down when you're ready, and uh, and then give a yell when you've reached the lower hatch. I'll power up the unit you ha and, and have it open up. After that, it's going to get real hot down there, so look for another hatch to the north along the ceiling and fly up through it. Careful of any other debris that might be falling down. It would be an untimely end to our expedition. Once you're on the other side, there's something you'll need to do. Chet, I feel like I have made a big mistake. Uh, all right. I'm going to quick save, and I'm going to take a peek in there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna activate my spells. I need um. I need my magical resistance. Resist fire strong. Thirty seconds restoration. The odds of me being able to actually cast it are very slim. Fifty percent chance. Okay. Feather resist fire. Okay, that's casted. Uh, let's see how quickly this fucking kills me. This is like a bad scene if this ends up not working. Where's Floaty Float? This might end up being really bad. Ow! Right! Power's on! Better head through fast before you don't have a head! Northern door! Or south! Wait, yeah! Northern door! Through the pipe in the ceiling! If you have a spell that can resist the effects of fire, I'd use it now! Ah! 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 Northern door! Ah! Restore help! Ah! Help! Help! Ah. This is a fucking barred up door! Finn! Where it? My levitation's gonna wear off! Ah! 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 This is awesome. <laughs> I love this quest. This is one of the coolest quests I've ever played in Morrowind. This is awesome. I don't even know what mod added this one. I didn't know this existed until literally today. It's a good thing I got that fire resistance spell. Flim gets another one into the grinder. Yeah, we can do it. We can definitely do it. I just have to, uh... It's just gonna be a bit of a process. Fuck, I need to, hang on. Magic. It's a good thing I bought fire resist. I don't know why I did, but lucky me. I always forget to buy resist, so that's why I bought it. I usually forget to buy resist, and then I'm regretting it when like a guy fucking slams me every 10 seconds. Okay. I failed to cast Floaty Float! <laughs> <laughs> This time, floaty float first. Resist fire. I said resist fire. I said resist fire. Shield. That was restore health. Shield. Reapply floaty float. Reapply floaty float. All right, let's ride. Most of my mana is gone. This is the door, directly north. Ow, 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 ow! I just gotta get into this door. 
I just gotta get to this edge. Plum shallows. <laughs> We're gonna have a bad time. I was still dying from the fire. Chat. That's how hot it was. I'm gonna have to heal through it once I arrive at my destination. Okay. All right, here we go. This time, for all the marbles. Resist fire, shield, floaty float, go. Fast as you can. All the while, restore health. I don't know if I take fire damage in the pipe. I don't think I should. I shouldn't. Am I burning? Scorching heat. I gotta get out of this area. Completely. I'm not, I don't, I don't feel safe until I'm out entirely. A floaty float was like inches from, from wearing off. Okay. Okay. I'm stuck in a wall. I'm okay. Fuck you. I'm the best. Get him, my son. Get that weird fucking ball. Yeah, kill him. Get him. Yeah, after him. Yeah, we're in control now, Chad. He's, my son's gone. Get him again. Okay. I'm gonna rest until healed. I've earned it. So, Flim, let's, uh... Okay, so that is the door. Looks so like if I pull this lever. The lever won't budge. What do you mean the lever won't I'm gonna activate this Dwemer electromagnet. This magnet is too heavy to move. Well, I have a fucking... I have a move for that. The water must be dealt with first. I see. Is this fucking place expecting me to have every spell ever known to man? Or do you want me to slightly freeze this fucking water? Because I can do that easy if you just wanted a quick freeze of it if you're expecting from much more nuance than that i'm afraid this is as far as i can go i'm afraid that's as far as my powers can take us and the only way back out is through hell pipe i don't want to go back through the hell pipe he did ask for a master wizard he didn't know about this part I'm trying to see if there's like a hatch or something a lever I need to pull under here. I think he wants me to freeze it. But fortunately, my elemental chaos move will probably work. Even though it shouldn't really in the grand scheme of powers. I'm gonna get near the water and I'm just gonna fucking hit it with the old... You failed at casting elemental chaos. I don't believe it. Ah... Uh... Oh no. You think I could open this quick for him? With a smile? Never won't budge. How do I deal with the water? There's a fucking broken pipe here. Well, the game expects me I have to have flying to even get in here, so I'm gonna floaty float. And see if there's anything around. Why am I struggling to floaty float in here? There we go. Yeah, there's stuff up here. Hang on. Hold up. <laughs> what's that over there? What's that? What's that? There's stuff in this corner. Or it might just be piping. I will take tips for this, because this could this is like this is a very open-ended quest. I will take tips if people have answers. But if your answer is bullshit, I will get angry instead. Does it just want me to freeze it? I mean, I don't have a freezy spell. Not freezy at the level that it wants. If it wants targeted ice spell, I'm gonna be really disappointed because I can't, I cannot provide what it wants. You have to deal with the water first. There's all these fucking, there's these like vent things above us. I think you accidentally skipped 
Some dialogue. I need targeted ice. That'd be really sad if that's true. Dwemer vents. These vents are all interactable. What do you think about this, my son? I don't think you need to freeze anything. Whoa, whoa, what just happened here? Wait, how? Whoa, 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 what did I do here? Were those always on? Did I do that by accident? Whoa! Well, I did do it! Yo, I did it! I froze inside of this vent and it put out like icy cold into the rest of the place. Activate the electromagnet! Everything's turning on. Another lever can open. The door. And we can go meet our bud. Yo, Flam! I did it! I did it! Well, that was anticlimactic. Hi, bud. It's Morrowind, a game made in 2001. I'm not sure exactly what you're expecting. Uh, cinematics-wise, I think you're looking for Skyrim. Took you long enough. Let's go. Whatever you did in there, shut off the grating on the other door, too. Maybe you didn't find- guessing you didn't find the key, eh? Oh, and, uh, yeah, based on the schematics, we're gonna be heading into a Drew testing lab. The Dwemer had a long history with the Dr- It's long, complicated, I don't know most of it, but, uh, just make sure you aren't lobotomized by errant machines. Okay. Is this something I should be concerned about as we do this? Should I be healing? I don't want to have my brain lobotomized. Well, this didn't open this door. Is this the door you were talking about, or is it this door? I think it's this door. Well, this is all nothing. Some boots. Since I didn't find the key, we're going to look for it in the other room I unlocked. Apparently, it's a Drew testing lab. I'm not sure which room I unlocked. But, uh, I'm sure I can find it. Probably on the opposite side of this door. Because that door opened up on that way. I'm guessing it's this door then? Right here? Yeah, it's probably this door. Memories Gallery. Key for that big door. We saw it- we saw earlier is probably in here. I'm guessing, uh, maybe- maybe it's around here somewhere. It should be. Schematics don't say it's here, but where else could it be? True! True, this place looks hot. What the fuck? Yo, this place got weird quick. They got like tubes for these guys over here. I'm not gonna have to climb in like a fucking tub for it with one of them, am I? You're not gonna make me tub dive with these fucking assholes, are you? Uh, I don't wanna do that. No, 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 no. Surely it won't. Key's gotta be in here somewhere. Adjacent motion plans. More little goblins. Dwemer cogs. I get the weird feeling. It wants me to floaty float into that tub. Chat. Oh, God. Yo, Flim, you see in this? I'm gonna jump in it. Alright, there's nothing in here. I think it's the other one. Flim, I can't move. Flim. Flim. Flim, I can't get out! Flim, I'm stuck in it! I can't! <laughs> Fucking hell. Some sort of collision weirdness with it. I swear to god, my floaty float spell causes some problems. Flim, you'll be fine. We'll get you out of there if I need to. Sometimes my floaty float spell just causes issues. I don't really know. Alright, there's gotta be something in here, chat. Hey, Flim. Is there any drugs in here? There's no water. There's no air in here, Flim. <laughs> there's no air down there, Flim. 
that's not great for our survival. All right, we're looking for a key or a door. Oh, this does not bode well for me. Flip, why aren't you doing this part? Ow! 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 Ah! Cast find key spell. I didn't get that because I found his key instantly like a badass. I'm gonna find this one instantly too like a badass. Watch this. I'm very good at, tr at key finding. And also, I'm willing to accept literal locations as to where it is. Restore health equals infinite water breathing. It would be if I had any means to uh, cast it reliably, but I don't. Chat, we may never find this key in here. This might be like the gatekeeping part of it. This is a bad scene. We don't even know if there is a key in here. Please. Hey, good news is my athletics went up. You know, chat, get excited for that at least. What if there is no key in here? You sure it's even down there? Locate item. Chat, if I don't have the spell, I can't cast it, you fucking idiot! I'm going to the bathroom, I'll be right back. I think there's something I gotta do upstairs that is going to make a key appear, most likely as part of some set piece involving those squid guys. So I don't think I actually need to do this yet. I I've got a weird feeling there's something else I need to do prior. Because I bet these guys drop into like the fucking tubes and cause a, like a, a, a problem. <sighs> yes. What is this thing I got? I got like a, I got a piece of paper adjacent. Whoa, how much are these? $1,500? I mean, that paid for this trip. That basically made this whole thing worth it right away. Fucking Jesus. Oh, what's this? Crank? Chat. Something going on here. There's interactable cranks around. Ow. Yeah, there's something to interact with here. There's interactables. Oh yeah, there's something going on. I just need to find the start point. No, that's all just a mess. Flimdar is nothing to- Whoa, 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 what's this here? This one's not enterable. Shit. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Okay. The worst kind of puzzle. I wasn't prepared for puzzle hell when I went on this adventure with Flimdar, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure I was ex entirely ready. The, one, the, the, the water puzzle was great though, for not being much of a puzzle. Oh, there's, yeah, there's another crank. But, I'm not sure I can, I'm not sure these are activated. Hang on. Uh, where's Feather? Where's my feather on touch? Yeah, these aren't doing anything when I touch them. Just yet. Are there any other cranks around? There's that one there. I'm not seeing any others. 
eerily quiet on the on the crank front. I yeah, I don't think I see any more. Did that like lower? Ow! God fucking damn it! Give me floaty float. Did that lower the fucking water anyways? No. Yeah, I'm not sure what those cranks are gonna do. Did Tomato cheat to get here? No. Strange steam device. It's technically interactable as well. Do I try freezing it? I think I've... Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little stumped here. Can't just magically force the puzzle to work if it doesn't wish it. Oh, there's another crank. Ah! Eh! I think I was close to figuring it out right there. I, I think that crank leads to like a green ooze. I think I try to fill the other crank, the other hole with the green ooze and we get it. Give me one second, chat. I think I got this. Let me try this, because this has got, this is like, hang on, I think this might be it. Oh, this also just doesn't turn. What the hell? Oh god, the worst thing too is that it's an obscure mod for Morrowind, so I'm basically on my own! Oh Jesus! There's no help to get! There is no help. I'm on my own. If only we had a find key spell. No one even sold that spell. No one, not one person even fucking sold that spell. That spell's bullshit and you know it. Hang on. Up the stairs here. God fucking damn it. No one sold that spell. Yeah, I can't interact with any of these. Like, they're all just, like, fucking brickwalling me at that. Huh. Well, I mean, I can't do nothing here. As much as I'd like to. I don't think there's a key in that hole. What do you say, Flim? Yeah, what's going on? Okay, not very helpful, Flim. I think we gotta leave for now. I wish I could- I don't know if I can leave Flim here. He'll be fine. Flint, can you, like, stay here? No can do, Buckaroo. Not at this time. He'll probably be fine. Oh, these all crank, too. These are all interactable cranks. I don't know if my brain can handle this one. Flint, move! Is that not a page at the table on the corner? Looks like a vent at the top right for a freeze spell. I could try the freeze spell quick, but um, I'm not confident that they would do another exact replica of the last puzzle room. It would be, if it was interactable, it would show, like, you know, a fucking, like, name near the vent hole. But this one doesn't have one, that one doesn't have one. Nor does this one. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. All right, let's go. We'll have to return when I'm more powerful. There's a page on that table. Bet you $50 I can't pick it up. I bet you all of my money and your money that I can't pick up that page. Do you accept? Yes. Pay up. Pay up! Unless you're calling yourself a liar. Actually, that'd be pretty easy to get out of it by saying that you were just a liar. I guess you sort of just got out of the way on that one. God, this is a cool fucking mod, though. I will come back to this place. Alright. But, um... We weren't planning on- I, it's my birthday today, chat. I don't plan on playing too much stream today. We will be back tomorrow, okay, with, um... 
Wait a minute. Oh, well. Never visit again? Well, I mean, I want to wrap up so I can, like, eat food and, like, hang out with my family for a little bit. So, when we return to this game, I will probably be leveled up to level 10. I will have, like, grinded my skills up a little bit so I can do the arena and, like, do some cool shit. Because this is sort of like the intro level, which is usually the slowest of the Morrowind sessions, at least in the past. Because, um, you know, there's about a thousand things I have to do for setup in this game. And, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot you have to catch up on to get ready to play. <laughs> 